The story begins with a man suddenly waking up in a place unfamiliar to himself, he does not understand how he got here, and he was bleeding. Having come to his senses a little, the hero notices that he is surrounded by several young and attractive girls, one of them asked what the client wants. The man tried to understand what finally happened to him, a few moments ago he was in a completely different world. The hero once heard stories about rebirth, did he really manage to move into the body of another person? Apparently the guy in whose body the hero is now is a real lover of entertainment, otherwise why would he go to such an establishment? Suddenly, someone began loudly knocking on their door, the uninvited guests ordered to immediately let them into the room, otherwise they would enter on their own. It turned out that these were law enforcement officers, two men and one woman broke into the hero's room, they immediately showed their IDs. The policewoman was very surprised when she saw this man inside, what was he doing here, did he really like going to such places? Looking at the hero's official uniform, it becomes clear that he also works for the police, and now he was caught at the most inopportune moment. Soon everyone went to the police station, the girl tried to find out from her colleague what he was doing in this establishment and how many times he had been there. The man made excuses and said that this was the only time he gave vent to his emotions and went to a brothel, it was just a misunderstanding. The police officer, of course, did not believe him, such incredible coincidences do not happen in real life, but the hero continued to stand his ground. But in fact, the girl is not very interested in the man's personal life, he should calm down a little she will definitely keep everything a secret. The police were much more interested in another question, it turned out that she was the sister of the hero's wife, and it seemed that the couple had never dealt with this matter. At first the man didn't really want to answer this question, only after removing the handcuffs did he confirm his guess, the newlyweds never slept together. The girl, of course, assumed that this was possible, but she was still surprised, after all, her sister had been living with this man for three long years. The man, in turn, became very embarrassed, the police tried to defuse the situation and asked him not to get hung up, now he can go home. It turned out that the hero lives in a huge luxurious house, he even had personal security, apparently he is quite an influential person. By coincidence, his name in this world was the same as in his native one, and he is also married to an incredibly beautiful woman perhaps the best in the world. But Lin Zichien himself is a rather worthless guy who is often bullied, apparently because of this he has never been in bed with his own wife. The hero was so depressed that he couldn't help himself, in the end he decided to come to the club and have a little fun with the beautiful girls. At some point, one of the beauties took off his coat, at that moment the guy's heart began to beat faster, but that was all over, things didn't go any further. In fact, this is not a reason to be upset because he is in a luxurious house with a beautiful wife, now he will definitely have the courage to take the first step. Right at that moment, his wife came into his bathroom, her name was Ring Su, and she wanted to know why her husband came home so late today. Lin Zichien immediately began to make excuses and said that he just wanted to get some fresh air after work and went to the park. And the girl simply came close to the hero and began to sniff him carefully, he smelled of several women's perfumes a kilometer away. At some point, the guy noticed the curvaceous shape of his wife, this beauty truly has an incredible appearance. Within a few seconds, Ring Su asked the hero if he really dated other girls today, even if he didn't try to lie to her. Suddenly Lin Zichien panicked and thought, how did she find out everything so quickly, now she urgently needs to come up with a plausible story. And the girl was also able to determine that the guy was next to her sister Ning Xiang, because she has very expensive French perfume, but who owns the rest of the smells? The remaining scents were clearly incredibly cheap, could it be that the husband was hanging around some dubious establishments and communicating with dissolute women? The hero once again tried to justify himself, but his wife didn't even listen to him, in fact, she didn't care, just let her choose a more expensive place next time. In addition, he should not forget about his personality, after all, he is the son-in-law of an influential family, so he must behave accordingly, at least in public. After this, the guy realized that establishing a cheerful and carefree life would not be so easy, apparently he would have to go through a lot. At the same time, Lin Zichien remembered that regardless of the place you are in now, the main thing is the presence of strength, so he began to meditate. Although the hero is now in a new body, his soul has not changed in any way, with his cultivation speed he can quickly reach the fifth level of skills. After spiritual exercises, 
it is best to immediately move on to physical exercises, for this, the guy went to the backyard and began to practice mastery of the elements. Thanks to his high level of cultivation, he could collect dew drops from the grass, and then shape the water into absolutely any shape. Just at that time, an elderly man was running near him with his granddaughter, apparently the relatives were playing sports in the fresh air. At some point, grandfather noticed Lin Qian in front of him and was surprised, he was very impressed by the level of this young man's skills. The girl, in turn, did not attach any importance to this and simply asked her relative why he stopped, they hadn't even run halfway. The elderly man asked his granddaughter to pay attention to the person in front, the hero was now practicing his best blow. Soon, grandfather and his relative came closer and said hello, the wise master praised Lin Qian for her excellent skill and dexterity. Since the hero was reborn quite recently, he had no idea who was now contacting him and simply decided that he was stopping someone from training. The granddaughter, in turn, took this as an insult, in her opinion, the hero is a very rude person, was he really not taught to respect older people? To be honest, Lin Qian has no time for stupid arguments, if they want to show their superiority, then they should look for another person. These words angered the girl even more, but the elderly man asked her to calm down, she should not behave so spontaneously and straightforwardly. The guy replied that everything was fine, he had already met beauties many times who, although they had a pretty body, had an incredibly small brain. At first, the granddaughter didn't even believe that this rude guy really said that to her, he really wasn't trained in good manners at all. She turned to the hero and ordered him to immediately apologize, but Lin Qian simply turned around and left first, he had nothing more to say. The girl was not going to just let him go and tried to attack from behind, it believed that her strength was at a higher level. However, as soon as the granddaughter approached the guy, the elderly man immediately ordered her to stop, now her life is in great danger. At the same moment, just a few centimeters from the girl's face, a leaf that fell from a tree flew by, moving at the speed of a bullet. In addition, Lin Qian disappeared somewhere, the girl did not have time to see anything and asked her grandfather if he had seen where this rude man had run away. In response to this, the elderly man scolded his granddaughter, although she does not see it, but the person whom she just wanted to hit has enormous strength. The granddaughter, in turn, did not even listen to the young master, it seemed to her that the hero was just a useless swindler, he acted very arrogantly. Her name was Yuyui, the grandfather had already told his granddaughter many times about people who have incredible abilities, you need to behave carefully with such people. She should learn today's lesson by simply looking at what Lin Qian was able to do with his energy and an ordinary leaf. Yu Yui couldn't believe her eyes, were there really people in the world who could control their abilities like that? The guy used the internal energy from the influx and blew on the leaf, because of this it turned into a deadly weapon, like a sharp knife. The hero, meanwhile, was calmly taking a shower in his house, today he managed to get some good training, and also put one girl in her place. Soon he finished and was about to get out of the shower, but just as he was leaving the bathroom he met a man, the guy didn't even notice him. Because of this, they collided, it turned out to be Ning Xiang, the beauty fell to the floor and held her head, the guy didn't look at all where he was going. Lin Qian tried to smooth things over and greeted his dear relative, but the girl became even more angry and asked why he was only wearing shorts. The hero noted that he has every right to wear whatever he wants, after all, this is his room, if Ning Xiang is not happy with something, then she can just leave. However, the beauty did not agree, by the way, this is her house, so all its residents must follow the rules and not walk in their underwear in the corridor. The guy, in turn, continued to stand his ground, because this is his body and he wears what he sees fit, the mistress of the house has no right to control him. Ning Xiang was ready to tear this fool into pieces, but suddenly her phone rang, she urgently needs to answer, maybe it's from work. As it turned out, there was an emergency, so the girl should go to the crime scene as soon as possible. The hero, by the way, will also go with her, even if he doesn't want this, then no one is interested in this, in the end he needs to make amends. The guy tried to slip away and hinted that others might misunderstand them, after all, they are relatives, it is better for them to stay away from each other. But the mistress of the house didn't even listen to him, the hero needs to go to his room now and get dressed normally, they are leaving in five minutes. It's just that the matter is very urgent, and Ning Xiang doesn't have a driver's license, 
so Lin Zichien has to drive, the only problem is that he doesn't have a car. In fact, this is not a problem, the girl throws the keys of an expensive car into his hands, Lin Zichien can use her brother's car. The guy asked his wife's sister if everything would be fine if they did this, and if he would have problems with the owner of the car later. Ning Xiang assured him that there was no need to worry about it, even if something happened, she was ready to take full responsibility for the consequences upon herself. When the hero first got behind the wheel of this car, he didn't even understand how to drive it, he had never had to drive such a luxurious car before. Fortunately, within a few minutes, Lin Zichien was completely comfortable and was racing almost like a professional racer, it turned out to be very easy. At some point, they were driving too fast, Ning Xiang even got a little scared at one of the turns, and besides, the road was in the mountains. The girl ordered her relative to slow down, any wrong move in such terrain could lead to a serious accident. However, the hero did not listen to her, he did everything exactly the opposite, he pressed the gas pedal to the floor and their car accelerated to its limit. They drove at this pace for several kilometers, and after that they suddenly stood up, Ning Xiang asked what was the matter, had he really forgotten that they were late? Lin Zichien replied that he noticed the presence of the enemy, now they were completely surrounded, a few seconds later a crowd of hooligans came out to them. There were quite a lot of scoundrels, they walked around the car from all sides, most likely this is not the first time this gang has met with police officers. The girl immediately recognized these people and their leader, Zhang Tianqi continues to commit crimes, a couple of days ago he broke the leg of an innocent person. The police officer does not have a gun with her at the moment, as soon as she turned to her partner to discuss the plan of action, she discovered that he was no longer in the driver's seat. The hero suddenly got out of the car and walked straight out to the crowd of villains, he looked very confident and claimed that Zhang Tianqi would go to prison today. Ning Xiang couldn't understand what this fool was doing now, he had never behaved so impulsively before, but now he could just be beaten to death. As a result, the girl decides that she needs to help her relative, it seems that the guy does not understand at all the danger his life is in. As soon as the police approached the hero, he told her that everything was very bad, each of these bandits had firearms with them. Ning Xiang is not blind and has long noticed this, she just wanted Lin Zichien to help her get to the right place, but everything did not go according to plan. Now they had only one way out, the girl took out her ID and threatened the hooligans that if they attack the police officer, they will have big problems. Therefore, all the bandits should immediately go to the police station, Zhang Tianqi did not take such threats seriously, do they really think he is a fool? The bandit leader kept looking at the girl's beautiful forms, if she wants to catch him, then she will have to have fun with him that night. Unfortunately, the intimidation plan failed, now the first thing to do is find out why the hooligans stopped them in the middle of the road. Zhang Tianqi turned to the policewoman and offered her a bet, he knows very well how much Ning Xiang dreams of putting him in prison. The essence of the dispute was who would go down the mountain faster, there is a special racing arena nearby, everyone will have their own car. If the leader of the bandits wins, then the beauty will accompany him for one night, and if the villain loses, she will go to the police station and will not even resist. The girl was very embarrassed by such impudence that this pervert had even imagined himself, despite this Lin Zichien suddenly agreed to the level. He believed that they could easily win a normal race, and Ning Xiang in turn hit him sharply on the head, he should only speak for himself. Nevertheless, the agreement was concluded, now the heroes will have to participate in the dispute, Zhang Tianqi was already getting into his car and recommended that the police show more courage. The girl sighed heavily, how could this situation even turn out like this, she would never ask Lin Zichien for help again. But there was nowhere to go, after a couple of minutes the cars arrived at the start, the competition should begin in a few seconds. Ning Xiang reproached her relative for acting too thoughtlessly, she should not have called him on this task. The hero, in turn, asked her to calm down and just trust him, he had never behaved so self-confidently before, it seemed like he was a completely different person. At the same time, the guy only now began to think about how he could win this race, whether he should immediately accelerate to maximum speed. In fact, there was no time left to think, right now one of the bandits began counting down the seconds until the start of the competition. Soon the flag dropped and two very expensive cars took off, the scoundrel's red car immediately taking the lead. As it turned out, Lin Zichien had just turned the key, 
he completely forgot that he needed to start the car first, the police officer couldn't even believe that this guy was so stupid. In the end, they also started, the girl shouldn't despair so much, the hero has every chance of winning the race, even after such a failure. Zhang Tianqi, meanwhile, had gone far ahead, he was looking out the rearview glass and could not see his opponent, how were they even going to win? However, after a few seconds the villain notices the hero's car, it was quickly picking up speed and was getting closer to him with every second. The bandit leader suddenly tensed up, at this rate, Lin Qian could easily overtake him, and the enemy should not be given a chance. No matter how hard Zhang Tianqi tried, he still couldn't break away from his rivals, as a result, the two cars were driving close to each other. Ning Xiang asked the guy to slow down a little, a little more and they could crash into the fence or fly down, it's too dangerous. The hero, in turn, told her not to worry, with his level of cultivation this is not a problem, now he has perfect control of the car. The villain soon realizes that he is unlikely to be able to break away, now he needs to come up with some kind of trick, otherwise victory will elude him. He felt with his hand a plastic bottle that was lying under his seat and threw it directly under the wheels of another car. Ling Qian fortunately noticed in time that something was flying towards him, he immediately turned a little to the side, there was no way he could be defeated by such a cheap trick. At the same time, the hero could not believe that this scoundrel dared to cheat, he himself proposed this dispute, apparently it is very difficult for him to lose. Although the car did not get into an accident, now the police are a little behind, so the guy decided to use a weapon to fix it. He reached over to his partner and pulled out his service pistol from her holster, so long as the bully didn't whine after that. In the end, it was Zhang Tianqi who was the first to commit a vile act, the hero quickly took aim and pulled the trigger, he needed to hit the wheel. He succeeds in this, the red car instantly slowed down and left the race, and the heroes confidently took the lead. Now the race was completely meaningless, because one of the participants was simply standing still, Zhang Tianqi lost and should immediately go to prison. Lin Qian asked the bully why he didn't get out of his car, did he really want to continue the race, there was no point in resisting. Ning Xiang immediately took out handcuffs and ordered the scoundrel to come to her, he should voluntarily surrender and go to the police station now. Suddenly, three unknown cars drive up to them, most likely they are Lin Qian's help, it seems that the villain did not want to accept defeat. When people got out of the cars, there was no doubt that they were also part of a gang, the main one among them was a man in a bandana. Soon the hooligans surrounded the heroes from all sides, apparently this time they no longer wanted to discuss anything or make a bet. One of the villains noticed a weapon hanging on the girl's leg, now this pistol will belong to him. Ning Xiang did not have time to stop him, the situation was too tense, and the situation was getting worse every minute. In the end, the villain brought the gun right to the girl's head, and he also asked if she would like to have a cup of coffee with him that evening. Suddenly, Lin Qian suddenly grabbed the bandit's hand, this idiot had better not play with such dangerous things, didn't anyone explain this to him? The bully didn't even notice how the hero was able to approach him, this madman really climbed on the armed man with his bare hands. A moment later, the guy managed to take the weapon back, now the gun was pointed at the scoundrel, the scoundrel needs to be more careful. Ning Xiang decided not to waste time and took advantage of the opportune moment, she suddenly rushed towards the bully and hit him in the stomach with her elbow. And after that she threw him with all her might, it looks like this bastard has forgotten his place, he should be taught a good lesson. Although the girl managed to neutralize the villain, there were still several times more enemies, she turned to her partner and asked to cover her. Meanwhile, the policewoman herself was preparing for an unequal fight, now she needs to make every effort, otherwise they might simply be killed. However, everything turned out to be much simpler, the hero somehow managed to deal with all the hooligans in just a few seconds. He put all the villains in a small pile, and after a few minutes, help arrived in the form of several police cars. Ning Xiang looked at the hero and suddenly found herself thinking that he was actually quite an attractive man, why had she not noticed this before? At the same time, it is stupid to deny that Lin Qian has changed a lot over the past few days, just a week ago he was a completely different person. After this, the girl tried to come to her senses, she shouldn't think about such things, after all, the guy is the husband of her sister. But the policewoman was so fascinated by the hero's charisma that she could not control herself, 
she continued to look at him through her fingers. And when the guy asked what happened to her, Ning Xiang became completely embarrassed and blushed very much. Lin Zichien decided to compliment his colleague and said that she looks very cute when she is shy. The girl did not answer anything and turned away one might get the impression that she fell head over heels in love with the hero. The guy tried to defuse the situation and asked the policewoman again, he could not understand why his partner was acting so strangely. But Ning Xiang remained silent this time too, the beauty simply walked forward, and Lin Zichien decided to follow her. At some point, the girl turned around and asked to leave her alone, why did he continue to follow her, there are a lot of other ways home. The guy was just worried about his relative, it would soon get dark outside, it was dangerous for such a pretty girl to return home alone. At first the policewoman couldn't even believe her ears, no one had ever told her such pleasant words as to why this man had changed so much. She was very pleased, although she tried to hide her feelings with all her appearance, in the end the heroes went home together. When Lin Zichien finally returned back, it was already very late, his beautiful wife was probably very worried. This indeed turned out to be true. Ring Su had been standing on the threshold of the house for several hours already, waiting for her husband. The guy did not expect that the girl would worry about him so much, he asked her if the beauty would like to go to their bedroom and relax a little. In response to this, Ring Su just looked at the hero with a dissatisfied look, if he really wants to have fun, then he can probably handle it himself. Lin Zichien actually expected a completely different reaction, it seems that this couple's family relationship is really in a terrible state. As soon as the husband and wife entered the house, the girl's father said that tomorrow they should get a divorce, the man was tired of the guy's constant antics. The hero tried to calm the elder and called him father, but the head of the family ordered him to shut up and never talk to him again. Lin Zichien could not understand what angered this old man so much, apparently this is not the first time this has happened, this marriage can only last on Ring Su. The girl also reassured her father, he shouldn't worry so much, today the guy really came back late because he had business. The man, in turn, did not understand his daughter's behavior at all, why she cares so much about this idiot, he clearly does not deserve it. Ring Su assured her father that she knew this man much better, he was not at all such a bad guy as the man imagined him to be. In the end, the head of the family got up from his chair and came closer, it was a mystery to him what his daughter saw in such an idiot, Lin Zichien seemed like a simple weakling to him. Such words hurt the hero a little, if not for his position, the old man would have been lying on the floor long ago and asking for forgiveness for the insults. However, the guy could not afford this, after all, his wife is a very good person and she never asks him to do such an act. Ring Su tried to explain to father that he should not interfere in her personal life, because she is already an adult and independent person. As a result, the beauty recommends that the old man go to his room and get some sleep, the man was unable to change his attitude towards Lin Zichien. After all, now this weakling was also hiding behind his daughter's back, he really is a real brat and a useless coward. After this, Ring Su asked for forgiveness for the behavior of the head of the family, in fact, this is in the order of things for him, you should not take everything to heart. But the guy wasn't going to worry about it anyway, there's no point in it, he was still lucky to be reborn in another world where he has a beautiful wife. When the hero went to bed, the first thing he did was try to come up with a way by which he could gain even more abilities. There was no time for rest, it is better to practice more often, comfort only harms his growth, he needs to find a place with harsh conditions. Lin Zichien put on his usual clothes and jumped out of the window, Suddenly he noticed his sleeping wife and stopped for a second. The guy wanted to admire this picture for a couple of minutes, the girl really was incredibly beautiful, worth fighting for. That is why the hero must become stronger, because even though he has only been in this world for a couple of days, he already has someone to protect. Now the guy needs to go in search of a suitable place as soon as possible, and after that start cultivating. He returned home only the next morning, Lin Zichien looked very tired, as if he had been working out in the gym for several hours. Ring Su was having breakfast at that time, she asked her husband what happened to him and where he was all night. The hero replied that he just wanted to get some fresh air and went for a run, now he can't tell anyone about his training. Most likely, the girl guessed that the guy was lying, but pretended that everything was fine, he should quickly sit down at the table and have breakfast. Lin Zichien didn't mind at all, he spent a lot of energy and is now ready to eat even a whole horse. Despite this, 
the guy paid most of his attention to his wife, he could not take his eyes off her, she was so beautiful. As it turned out, the beauty had been trying to tell him something for several minutes, but this fool seemed to be on another planet and was not listening at all. The girl said that Lin Qian needs to stop being lazy and find a job as quickly as possible, this is the only way he can convince her father. When the hero heard this, he thought for a few seconds, this world was a little different from his native one, perhaps finding a job would become a problem. Ring Su saw that her husband did not really want to take the initiative, if he had no desire at all, then he could simply forget about it, but then their marriage would be doomed. In fact, Lin Qian is not at all against going in search of work right now, he was more interested in something else, had the guy been unemployed all his life before? The girl thought that the hero had amnesia, her father did not want to see him in their company, so he had never had a job before. Lin Qian promises that today he will start looking for a new position, he will still have to do it, because cultivation also requires money. The beauty was even a little surprised, her husband had never behaved so confidently before, it might have seemed that the guy had been replaced with another person. Soon the hero went to the city center, the weather was incredibly hot that day, he needed to quickly find some option. Suddenly a huge and tall skyscraper caught my eye, the company that owns it is clearly incredibly rich, perhaps they need employees. Lin Qian came closer and found that this organization lacked good bodyguards, they promised high salaries. The hero went inside and looked around, the building looked very luxurious, beautiful women in expensive outfits walked everywhere. In fact, there were too many of them, most likely the company works in the field of fashion and cosmetics, it is very difficult to explain such a number of beauties in any other way. Lin Qian was so impressed that he couldn't figure out which way to look, it seemed like he was in heaven. At some point, an unknown man approached him and asked the guy if he had also come here for an interview and wanted to get a bodyguard position. The hero was a little surprised by this question, this man was unfamiliar to him, the man either likes to talk or is planning something. This stranger's name was Pan Zhu and he came here to become the best bodyguard, he believed that he and the guy were now in the same conditions. After that, a tall guy with a strong build came out to them, he ordered the candidates for the position to immediately shut up. From the conversations of other employees, it turned out that this is the head of security, and the beauty next to him is the main assistant to the director of the company. The girl behaved much more modestly, she calmly said her name, her name was Sui Ran and he works as Mrs. Lin's assistant. The employee announced that all candidates would be interviewed, after which one winner would be chosen, and he would become the bodyguard of the head of the organization. Pan Zhu could not believe his luck, the man did not expect that he would have a chance to become the guard of such a rich man. And Lin Qian, in turn, considered all this an incredibly boring undertaking, after all, he did not see a single worthy competitor around him. But at the same time, he wondered why all the people around were so excited, was Mrs. Lin really such an influential person? His friend was very surprised by this question, has the guy never heard of the director of this organization, maybe he still doesn't know about the most beautiful woman in the city. The hero pretended that he had no idea what Pan Zhu was talking about, it was better not to tell anyone for now that Ring Su was actually his wife. Su Iran asked to start as soon as possible, they shouldn't waste Mrs. Lin's valuable time, all candidates should act according to the instructions. The head of security will test the skills of the candidates, the man told everyone who wanted to follow him into the next room. At the same time, he could not understand why Mrs. Lin suddenly wanted to hire a bodyguard, was he really bad at his job? Suddenly a young pretty girl with blonde hair ran out of the corridor, she was very scared and said that an iron python had come here. Su Iran tried her best to calm the beauty, the girl needs to calm down as quickly as possible and clearly explain the whole situation. A worker with blonde hair explained that a villain had just broken into their office through the main entrance, and because of this, several security guards had been injured. The head of the security department couldn't believe it, they paid these scoundrels last week, why did the bastards come again? A few minutes later, the hooligans were already inside, among them stood a man with a bat and a scar on his right eye, it was he who was called the Iron Python. The first thing the scoundrel paid attention to was the assistant to the director of the company, apparently the scoundrel had been following her for a long time. At the same time, the girl tried with all her might to avoid the bully, his face was the last thing she wanted to see at the moment. However, the scoundrel did not take the beauty's word seriously, she shouldn't be so categorical, 
he actually missed her madly. The bully grabbed Suiran's hand, this girl was very scared and tried to escape from the clutches of the vile pervert. Unfortunately, the Iron Python turned out to be much stronger, the villain offered her a deal, if the director's assistant spends one night with him, then their debt for this month will be cancelled. The beauty did not even think of agreeing to such disgusting conditions, she would rather die right now than go to bed with this freak. Such words greatly hurt the pride of the gang leader, since these weaklings do not understand in a good way, then it will be in a bad way. The bastard ordered the head of the security to immediately bring him the money they owed, otherwise no one would leave this building alive. Suiran couldn't believe that the bandit was really such a terrible person, did he really have no conscience and no sense of compassion at all? As soon as Pan Zhu heard the hooligan's plan, he immediately got scared and fell to the floor, now he didn't want to become a bodyguard, this was too much. And the hero was still bored, but now he had the opportunity to skip the interview and get the position of security guard out of turn. To do this, he just needs to deal with a couple of weaklings, as soon as the guy kicks them out of the office, he will immediately be hired for a new job. The man tried to stop his new acquaintance, was Lin Qian really so stupid that they didn't understand the danger? The director's assistant also asked him to cool down a little, it was better for him not to do impulsive things, the hero didn't even have a weapon. And all the other workers began to whisper among themselves, they considered the guy crazy, who was simply looking for his death. Lin Qian did not pay attention to this and calmly walked up to the Iron Python, he asked for some precious time. The villain did not want to listen to him, the bully simply tried to hit the hero, it seemed to him that this arrogant idiot had completely lost his fear. Even after this, the guy did not lose his head, but calmly took out one cigarette from his pack and politely invited the gang leader to smoke with him. After that, the hero introduced himself and said that he came here to find a new job, and as for that money, they had better forget this place forever and get lost. When the black python heard this, he became seriously angry, he could not understand why this idiot was acting so self-confidently. The scoundrel sharply grabbed the guy by the t-shirt, if he really wants to challenge their clan, then let him just try, nothing awaits him except death. Lin Qian, in turn, asked the bully to cool down a little, first of all, he needs to think about everything carefully, what if the police are called on him? The bandit found it funny to hear such statements, no officer would dare arrest him, the guy wouldn't achieve anything with stupid intimidation. Suddenly the hero spat out his cigarette, the cigarette but hit the villain directly on the forehead, the iron python was in such shock that it was lost for several seconds. But he quickly came to his senses, his rage knew no bounds, today this arrogant fool would never go home alive, he asked for it himself. The gang leader ordered his subordinates to quickly finish off the guy, the two villains immediately rushed forward, using baseball bats as weapons. In fact, the bandits moved very slowly, Lin Qian just waited for the right moment and took a step back, they ended up hitting each other on the head. It seems that these weaklings themselves did not understand the situation they found themselves in, from their movements it became clear that the hooligans had never fought normally. Now the Iron Python wanted to strangle the hero with his own hands, a strong feeling of anger and hatred could be seen on his face. However, this did not make him stronger in any way, the hero was able to stop the gang leader simply with his fist. Lin Qian was at a completely different level of martial arts, now even such a fool as the black python realized it, his arm was broken. After this, the hero ordered the hooligans to immediately apologize to all employees and visitors of this office, and then get out of here. The scoundrels immediately obeyed the order and asked for forgiveness, now they will never demand money from this organization, they are very sorry. All the workers were very happy when it was all over, the Iron Python gang had been preventing them from developing normally for several years. Sui Ran was greatly impressed by the guy's abilities, she asked his name and whether he would like to start work today. The hero replied that he would gladly become a bodyguard right now, in fact, he arranged all this precisely for the sake of the new position. The only one who was dissatisfied with such a gathering was the head who wanted safety, he was infuriated by the fact that Lin Qian got all the attention. In the end, the assistant director announced that the scheduled interviews were cancelled, everyone except the hero could go home. The rest of the candidates were very angry about this, they are actually quite strong too, will there really be no more checks? But the girl noticed that none of these men dared to defend the company when it was in real danger. It was difficult to argue with this, 
so most of the applicants resign themselves and calm down, it looks like they will have to look for work somewhere else. Pan Zhu, in turn, approached his new acquaintance and praised him for the work he had done, the hero really looked like a character from an action movie. Lin Qian decided that he would be too bored working here alone, so he asked the assistant director to take the man with him. Su Iran agreed, but now the responsibility for the second bodyguard will be entirely on the shoulders of the guy, and now they need to go upstairs. The girl wanted to demonstrate the new guard to her boss as soon as possible, hmm, it was very lucky that the hero showed up here today. By the way, Lin Qian was also happy, there were so many attractive girls working in this company that he was ready to come to work even on weekends. Soon they arrived at the right place and knocked on the door, the director of the company asked them to come in, she just had some free time. As it turned out, Mrs. Lin was also quite a young and beautiful woman, and she was surprised by the fact that all the interviews ended so quickly. The assistant explained the whole situation to her, since no one except Lin Qian tried to stop the Iron Python, there was no point left in the interviews. The director of the company was impressed by the hero's abilities, she asked his name and asked him to tell him a little about himself. After a short conversation, Mrs. Lin wondered who the guy worked before, because an ordinary person could not fight an iron python alone. However, Lin Qian did not have any interesting background, in fact, this was the first time in his entire life that the hero had come to an interview. Mrs. Lin initially thought that the guy was just joking, if he was an ordinary unemployed person, then what could be so special about him? Suddenly the hero notices something strange, he decided that this was a great chance to demonstrate his skills and convince the boss. Lin Qian silently walked around the director's office and crawled under the table, the woman all this time was trying to find out what the guy was doing now. As it turned out, there was a special beacon near Mrs. Lin's workplace all this time, someone had been watching her for quite some time. The woman immediately began to panic, was this really true, but who could install such a device here? The guy asked his boss to calm down a little, now, first of all, you need to think carefully about who might benefit from this. In fact, it is quite difficult to answer such a question, Mrs. Lin is the director of a large company, a person with such a position has many enemies. The hero suggested that it could be anyone, even employees of this organization cannot be excluded, as well as people who are trusted here. In the end, the woman orders the new employee to find the spy, if he succeeds, the guy will receive a good reward. Lin Qian is happy to start right now, but first Mrs. Lin must say whether he has been officially accepted as her bodyguard. The director of the company offered him a probationary period of three months and a salary of 100,000 yuan per month. If the hero fulfills his duties well, he will be able to receive bonuses, at that moment someone knocked on their office. The woman asked to come in, it turned out that a man in an expensive white suit had come to visit her, in his hands he was holding a very beautiful bouquet of roses. This man's name was Gao Xian, he politely greeted Mrs. Lin, but she made it clear with all her appearance that she was not happy about the man's appearance. The guest, in turn, did not pay attention to this and handed the bouquet into the woman's hands, he came here just to see the beautiful lady. The director of the company did not want to tolerate all these antics and ordered to immediately get out of her office, no one was waiting for the man here. Gao Xian asked Mrs. Lin not to be so angry, had she forgotten that they were supposed to have a business conversation today. And the guest also knew that the woman was looking for a good bodyguard, so he called here the three best people from his personal security. In response to this, the director of the company simply laughed. The man did not understand such a reaction at all, which in this situation could seem funny. Instead of missile, Lin answered her new protector, Gao Xian must get out of this office as soon as possible, otherwise he will feel very bad. The man got angry when he heard this, no one is allowed to address him like that, who is this upstart and how did he get here? When the guy said that he was the director's new bodyguard, Gao Xian couldn't believe it, how such a brat managed to get this job. The man tried to convince Mrs. Lin and insisted that she did not have enough experience in this field and it would be much better if he helped her make the right choice. The woman immediately refused this offer, Gao Xian was acting too arrogantly, he should not interfere in her personal affairs. Now Lin Qian had his hands completely untied, he told the insolent guest to get away, or perhaps he needed to be shown the way. The man could no longer tolerate such insults in his direction, so he ordered his bodyguard to put the guy in his place. The guard with glasses was called Lao Mao, 
he was a very tall man with a strong build, he approached the hero and grabbed him by the t-shirt. The director of the company has already completely pissed off Gao Xian, if this idiot doesn't leave with his charges right now, the police will be called on him. But even after such threats, the man did not back down, now he really wants to demonstrate the difference between his bodyguard and Lin Zichien. At some point, the woman thought that this was a really great opportunity to test her new employee, if the guy really wanted to protect her, he should win. Gao Xian asked his ward not to hold back, now he can use all his skills to put the upstart in his place. Lao Mao was very happy to hear this, he had wanted to fight with someone for a very long time, but most likely this brat would not be able to provide him with proper resistance. The man with glasses invited the hero to kneel down and apologize, if he doesn't do this, he will regret it very much. The guy asked his opponent if he really wanted a fight, if this was true, then they should find a more suitable place. Mrs. Lin couldn't believe her ears, it seemed to the woman that her new bodyguard was scared and was now trying to avoid the fight. Gao Xian thought the same thing, a wide smile appeared on his face, now he had no doubt that Ling Zichien was an ordinary weakling. The hero noticed that the man with glasses was not going to accept his offer, so they needed to solve everything with one blow. Lao Mao laughed very hard at this proposal, if they really hit each other in turn, the guy would simply lose consciousness. The rest of the bodyguards were sure that it was impossible to compete with their colleague in brute strength, because he had reached the fourth stage of skills. If an ordinary person misses his blow, then perhaps he will not die, but at least he will receive very serious injuries and remain disabled. Su Iran did not expect that the situation would go so far, the girl was scared and tried to close her eyes so as not to see this horror. On the contrary, Gao Xian carefully watched what was happening, he could no longer wait for the moment when the hero would be torn to pieces. Lao Mao put all his energy into this blow, he wanted to show his best side, after all, now his boss is watching him. But what happened next surprised absolutely everyone present, instead of writhing in pain, Lin Zichien remained in his place. The guy somehow miraculously managed to stop Lao Mao's incredibly powerful attack, and only two fingers were enough for him. And now it was his turn to hit back, the hero most of all wanted to see how a man with glasses could repel a counterattack. The bodyguard was still recovering from having his best strike blocked by two fingers, so he didn't even have time to block. Perhaps this was the biggest mistake of Lao Mao's life, the missed blow was so devastating that the man lost all his teeth. He also flew several meters back, creating the impression that the hero simply had an inhuman level of strength. It is impossible to explain such power in any other way. Gao Xian was speechless after what he saw, as if he had fallen into a bad dream. At the same time, Lin Zichien looked absolutely calm, he only wanted to apologize to his boss for the damaged furniture. In fact, you shouldn't rely only on physical strength when choosing a bodyguard, a person's strength can be hidden in character. Even after everything he had seen, Gao Xian did not want to accept defeat, the man ordered the rest of the guards to attack the guy at the same time. The other bodyguards couldn't refuse, so they rushed forward, are they really so confident in themselves that they expect to win? One of the men immediately went flying, the hero quickly grabbed him by the hand and threw him over himself with all his strength. This technique turned out to be very successful, Lin Zichien managed to knock the man down with the help of his bodyguard. After this, the hero approached Gao Xian and asked if he needed to explain again who Mrs. Lin's guard was. The man turned out to be so smug that even after that he stood his ground, apparently he needs to be taught another good lesson. The guy hit Gao Xian's face with his palm with all his might, this rich man must understand something, although he has a lot of money, not everything in this world can be bought. The man found himself in the most hopeless situation in his life, and tears even began to appear in his eyes due to the feeling of despair. He still couldn't believe that there was a person in this world who dared to harm him, Gao Xian needed to come down to earth a long time ago. Mrs. Lin and her assistant stood on the side all this time and watched what was happening, the girls decided that it was better for them not to interfere. Within a few minutes, Gao Xian's entire face was covered with abrasions and bruises, it seemed that he was about to lose consciousness. Only after this the self-confident guest finally realized that he should leave, unfortunately, now he could only crawl on all fours. A man will never forget such humiliations, the brat will definitely answer for all his actions, today he has a very influential enemy. However, Lin Zichien didn't even listen to him, 
but instead calmly asked his boss if she liked today's performance. The woman really liked everything very much, she is ready to immediately sign a contract with the hero, and he will receive the first prize right now. The guy sincerely thanked Mrs. Lin, from today she can no longer worry about her safety, he has the strength to protect her. The director of the company was a little embarrassed by these words, she wondered where Lin Qian lives now, maybe he needs to find an apartment. In fact, this was not at all necessary, because the hero has been living in the most prestigious area of the city for several years. The woman was very surprised, after all, the residential complex is incredibly expensive, how can an ordinary unemployed person afford this? The guy explained that in fact this is not his own place, he just has a good friend with whom he can spend the night for free. Overall, it didn't matter at all, because since Lin Qian was now Mrs. Lin's bodyguard, they would live together. The hero agreed to any conditions, but it seemed too strange to him, after all, he has a wife, perhaps there is some other way. The company director asked her new bodyguard if he would have any difficulties with a normal move. The guy, of course, doesn't mind moving to another house, but he has a beloved wife who might misunderstand everything. At the same time, Lin Qian is not going to leave his boss, he is ready to protect her at any time and anywhere. At some point, it became noticeable that Mrs. Lin blushed very much, did she really have feelings for the hero? The director of the company asks not to think about anything strange, she just wanted her security guard to be as close as possible. The guy wondered why the woman suddenly began to trust him so much that she was even ready to live under the same roof, as it turned out, Mrs. Lin simply trusted her heart. Lin Qian tells his boss not to worry, even if he feels uncomfortable being alone with her, he will definitely do his job. As long as the hero is her bodyguard, he will make every effort to ensure that no one harms the woman, the boss was glad to hear this. And the guy also asked to pay him in advance, he really needs money now, and besides, this will be an additional incentive. Mrs. Lin will give him the money tomorrow, now the hero must take the keys to her car and go first, because she has a meeting today. The director of the company will call the guy when she needs him, Lin Qian thanks his boss, and now he had time to go home. When he returned, he found that his wife was waiting for him as usual, Ring Su was still awake, even though it was already very late outside. The beauty wondered where her husband got such a luxurious car, and whether he really got a new job. The guy confirmed the girl's guess, now he is the bodyguard of a very influential man, and this car was given to him for a while. The hero hoped that Ring Su would be at least a little happy, after all, they agreed on this and now nothing threatens their marriage. But for some reason, the beauty behaved very strangely, she said that Lin Qian could do whatever she wanted, but she didn't care. After this, the guy completely lost any hope that he would be able to understand his wife's feelings, he had no idea what was on her mind. The hero went to his room and noticed that his self-improvement had already produced small results, now he might be able to make a breakthrough. Lin Qian concentrated all the energy in his body at one point, after which a golden magic ball appeared in his right hand. Suddenly, a small bag materialized out of thin air, it looked like something out of this world, apparently this item belonged to the hero in a past life. This actually turned out to be true, and the guy was very lucky, because all his things were still in this small bag. After that, a book fell on the floor, Lin Qian tried to remember where he got this thing from and what it was for. He opened the textbook and read several pages, it contained different knowledge about medicine, before he could not understand anything that was written. Therefore, the hero simply put the book in his bag, fortunately now he had the opportunity to study it from beginning to end. It turned out that this textbook described cures for all the diseases of this world, such knowledge may be needed in the future. A few hours later, the head of the family returned to the mansion, the first thing he noticed was an unknown car, had his daughter really bought herself a new toy. But everything turned out to be a little different, a guest came to them, it was Zhao Ilong, a representative of another influential family, he had an important conversation. After that, the old man and the guy went into the house, the father even now continued to complain about his lazy son-in-law, his daughter was very mistaken. Ring Su heard that her father had finally returned from work and told her husband to hurry up, they needed to make a good impression. Lin Qian, for his part, wasn't very worried about this, so he even managed to doze off on the chair for a while. As soon as the head of the family saw the hero, he ordered him to get out of this house, why does he even keep coming back here? The guy didn't even have time to say a word, 
this old man continues to act like a fool, as if he was deliberately trying to anger Lin Zichien. Zhao Yilong tried to reassure the owner of the house, if you listen to this man first, perhaps he really came on an important matter. The head of the family was sure that such a useless idiot as the hero could not have important things to do, because he was just an unemployed lazy person. His daughter immediately noticed that her husband was no longer unemployed, he now had an official job. In fact, the old man already knew about this, he simply did not perceive the work of a bodyguard as something serious, because it would not help their family in any way. The arrogant guest believed that Lin Zichien was an ordinary person who would never be able to somehow influence important matters, so there was no point in scolding him. After that, Zhao Yilong explained why he came, how it turned out he managed to find a good doctor who could help them. From the conversation it became clear that the son of another very influential family had recently had an accident, now the guy is in a coma. If they can find a specialist who can get him out of this state, they can get a very good ally. Suddenly Lin Zichien enters the conversation, he assures his relatives that he can cure absolutely any disease. The old man, in response to this, ordered the useless lazy person to stop talking nonsense, is such a mediocrity like him capable of helping a person in a coma? The hero expected that they would not believe him, so he invites the owner of the house to go with him to the hospital right now and see everything with his own eyes. The head of the family believed that his son-in-law was simply mocking him, how could a person without medical education be useful in such a situation? Zhao Yilong thought the same thing, it seemed to the guest that the guy was simply trying to at least somehow win over an influential person. Despite this, the guy tried to feign sympathy and recommended that the old man calm down a little, perhaps Lin Zichien really has abilities. However, it was difficult to convince the owner of the house, he hated the hero very much and therefore was not going to believe a single word. And in general, why is this fool trying to pretend to be a healer, the unfortunate man was in a car accident and is now in a very serious condition. When the guy heard that the victim was in a coma, a slight grin appeared on his face, he was able to help such a patient. The father asked Ring Su to take their dear guest to another room and have dinner with him, now the old man needs to discuss a very important issue. The girl really wanted to help the victim, but she also couldn't believe that her husband was capable of doing something useful in such a situation. Meanwhile, Lin Zichien went to his room and took out a special textbook, with its help he would be able to give the family a special gift. After this event, he is transferred to the hospital, it is in this place that the accident victim is now located, his whole body was wrapped in bandages. An excited father was near the bed, the doctor told him that his son's condition was unfortunately gradually deteriorating. The man was ready to transfer his dear child to any hospital, even if he had to pay millions for it. The doctor told him that, unfortunately, money wouldn't help in this situation, the guy might simply not survive the transportation. The father was so upset that he didn't want to hear it, since they couldn't cure his son, then at least they should stop talking nonsense. Suddenly a stranger approached them, he assured that he was able to cure the victim using his unique method. The doctor turned around sharply and asked the man how he got here and where the real doctor was, strangers cannot enter this room. In fact, he was a hero, although he does not have a medical education, but now he is the only person in the world who is able to help the patient. The man quickly recognized the guy, he had been told many times about Ring Su's useless husband, did this unemployed man really decide to come here and mock him? Lin Zichien asked to forget about his sad past, now the only important thing is that the president's son has a chance to come out of his coma. In the end, the man agrees, after all, he has no other choice, if nothing is done, then the guy may remain like this forever. The father asks the hero to start as soon as possible, the attending physician tried to convince the man, but he failed. Lin Zichien immediately walked to the hospital bed and put on medical gloves, now he needs to fully concentrate on the process. A very large and long needle acted as a medical instrument, only with the help of it can a special technique be used. When the doctor saw this, he panicked very much, to whom did they entrust such a serious patient, this fool would kill him now. The doctor rushed forward to stop the hero, but he was stopped by the patient's father, at that moment something strange began to happen. A certain dark purple aura began to emerge from the victim's body, could the guy really manage to help him? The doctor was incredibly shocked after what he saw, in all his long practice, he had never seen anything like this. Lin Zichien told the president that the situation is even worse than expected, 
now there is a very dangerous parasite in his son's body. The doctor immediately tried to refute this information, they conducted many studies and did not find any parasites. However, the patient's father still listened to the hero, if the guy is really confident in this and can help, then let him do what he needs to do. The hero explained that this is an unusual type of parasite, such a disease can only be noticed by traditional folk healers. The doctor could no longer listen to this nonsense and tried to convince the man that he should not trust some crook from the street. Lin Qian, in turn, insisted that there was no lie in his words, he came here with a sincere desire to help the president's son. The patient's father completely trusted the hero, but if his method does not work, then he and his entire family will greatly regret it. As soon as the guy heard these words, he immediately began the procedure. He combined his spiritual energy and a special needle. Soon after, the dark purple aura transformed into an incredibly ugly insect, which is exactly what the special parasites look like. Fortunately, it is very easy to destroy it, a simple snap of your fingers is enough, the whole difficulty lies in removing it from the body. After a few minutes, the guy opened his eyes, he still couldn't understand where he was, but now everything would be fine with him. The father could not believe his eyes, today was one of the happiest days of his life, finally his dear son woke up. Meanwhile, the doctor still could not recover from the shock, a random person on the street managed to bring the guy out of the coma, and so quickly. The man took these words as an insult, didn't the doctor want his child to wake up, the worker should watch his words better. The doctor immediately asked for forgiveness, the president simply misunderstood him, in fact, a real miracle happened in this war today. When it was all over, the man sincerely thanked Lin Qian for saving his son, now he can count on their family's help. After this, the hero says goodbye and leaves, now he needs to return home as quickly as possible and tell his wife about everything. But as soon as he went out into the corridor, he ran into some girl, it seemed to the guy that he had already met her somewhere before. Due to the collision, the stranger tripped and fell to the floor, it turned out to be Yuyui, she scolded Lin Qian for her carelessness in her usual manner. At some point, the girl thought that the hero was trying to look under her skirt, was he really not only a boor, but also a pervert. Because of this, Yui became very embarrassed and quickly jumped to her feet, this fool should immediately stop his antics. The girl tried to slap the guy in the face, why did fate bring them together again, it's too cruel to her. The hero easily dodged the palm and assured his friend that he was simply paying attention to her grandfather, who was standing right behind her. After that, Yui calmed down a little and looked back, her close relative was indeed standing there. However, the girl still didn't believe this pervert, he probably looked under her skirt, and then came up with a saying. Yui was 100% confident in her theory, if he didn't ask her for forgiveness now, he would greatly regret it. The old man asked his granddaughter to cool down, she just misunderstood this young man, they don't need to quarrel. After all, Lin Qian did not do anything wrong, and if they find a common language, then Yui will be able to make good progress in cultivation. From the expression on the hero's face it was clear that he was not at all against friendship, but the girl was clearly not ready for this. Grandfather tried to calm her down and said that everything was fine, now the granddaughter had better go home, and he and Lin Qian still had an important conversation. The guy talked to the older man for several minutes, and at the end he told him that the patient was in fact infected with a very rare type of parasite. Yuyui, as usual, thought that the hero had somehow insulted her grandfather, she once again tried to make him apologize. But Lin Qian didn't pay attention to her and just left, now he doesn't have time to argue with some stupid girl. The elderly man was very surprised when he heard about the parasites, apparently someone was deliberately trying to kill the son of an influential family. When the hero went outside, his phone suddenly rang, for some reason his wife wanted to contact him. The girl told the guy that he needed to come to the main hotel in the city as soon as possible, they would be waiting for him there. Lin Qian thought that the beauty had finally changed her attitude and invited him to dinner, could they finally sleep together? The guy imagined Ring Su sitting at the table and asking him for forgiveness, that would really be very cool. In anticipation of a wonderful evening, the hero caught a taxi and asked the driver to go to the main hotel as quickly as possible. This establishment was completely owned by their family, so all the staff bowed when they saw Lin Qian. in fact, such behavior was unnecessary. When the guy entered the hall, he was very disappointed. 
in his head he imagined today's dinner completely differently. His wife and her father were sitting at a long table, and everyone had very dissatisfied faces, one can only guess what was wrong this time. And there was also Ring Su's brother, whose name was Ning Su, the guy behaved very arrogantly, he turned to the hero and called him a worthless son-in-law. Ning Su always considered his sister's husband to be an absolute lazy person who is only interested in delicious food, which is probably why the hero arrived so quickly. For some reason, Lin Zichien at this moment became more angry than ever, he desperately wanted to put this brat in his place. At some point, the guy noticed the hero's predatory gaze, it scared him so much that he began to see the silhouette of a wolf. The girl asked her brother not to talk nonsense, her husband came here only because she called him and personally invited him. Her father was of course angry when he heard this, why would they even invite this idiot, Lin Zichien doesn't need to know about the family's affairs. The hero, in turn, understood perfectly well that they would not say anything good to him here, and perhaps it was not even worth talking about the saved patient. Ning Su took advantage of the moment and also began to reproach his sister for inviting such a useless fool to dinner. After this, the girl finally breaks down, she loudly hits the table with her fist and asks her brother to be silent, this man has every right to sit with them. However, the guy thought that Ring Su had simply gone crazy, was it really possible that such a beautiful and smart girl like her could not find a better partner? Suddenly Zhao Ilong joined the conversation, he recommended that his brother cool down a little and sit down at the table, the partners themselves are able to sort out their relationship. Ning Xiao listened to him and calmed down, but he still wanted to know the answer to why such a mediocrity as Lin Zichien was still part of the family. The head of the family recommended that his daughter pay attention to Zhao Ilong, in his opinion, this man is much more suitable for her. The guest thanked the man for such kind words, but he should not worry so much about Ring Su's personal life, after all, she is already an adult. After that, everyone was talking about how some unknown person managed to cure the president's son, who was in a coma. As it turned out, Zhao Ilong called the hospital and lied that the healer was one of his men, so he wanted to gain the old man's trust. The guest assured everyone around that it was one of his old friends, who usually does not help others for free, but this time he made an exception. The man once again thanked Zhao Ilong for such a kind deed, they should drink the next glass for his health. A few minutes later, a restaurant worker came to them and said that the president had arrived here, he wanted to thank the savior of his son. The old man was sure that the important person came here precisely for Zhao Ilong, after which Ring Su should definitely take a closer look at him. Soon the president came to them, he was accompanied by two bodyguards, in the hands of one of them was a large black suitcase. The men shook hands, Ring Su's father was clearly very worried, he first of all wanted to make a good impression. Zhao Ilong was already preparing to receive his reward, he considered his plan impeccable, no one would guess that the patient was cured by another person. However, the president simply walked forward and addressed Lin Zichien, the man sincerely thanked the hero for saving his dear son. Ning Xiao and the others couldn't believe what they just saw, could this idiot really manage to pull a person out of a coma? And the guy, in turn, simply thanked the president for the gift, if his son needs anything else, they can contact him at any time. As a result, the friends shook hands, the man called Lin Zichien the main ally of their family, they are also ready to help in any situation. Although the hero tried to downplay his act, the president still considered him a real savior, only thanks to him his son was able to wake up. Ring Su's father came to his senses a little and asked again whether it was his son-in-law who really saved the patient, this is really incredibly difficult to believe. The president was surprised by such a question, it seemed to him that everyone around him had already known this for a long time, Lin Zichien is a real hero who should be proud. At this moment, Zhao Ilong's entire plan completely collapsed, he turned out to be too arrogant, now he needs to somehow get out of the situation. The head of the family looked sharply in his direction and ordered him to immediately explain everything, did the guy really dare to lie to his face? Zhao Ilong decided to tell it like it is and assured the man that this was all a simple misunderstanding, he had confused his friend with another person. The president, meanwhile, picked up a huge suitcase and told Ling Zichien that all these 10 million now belonged to him. The hero gladly accepted such a gift, now they could communicate without unnecessary formalities, if his help is needed, he is always ready. The president was happy to hear this, the man even laughed with happiness, they could definitely become great friends, and now it was time for him to go. In the end, 
They said goodbye and agreed to drink some alcohol together sometime. Today the guy was able to acquire an important ally. Ring Su really wanted to find out from her husband what really happened in the hospital today, Linzi Qian promised to tell her everything before going to bed today. The girl was a little embarrassed by this answer, had the guy really plucked up the courage and finally hinted at bed, or she just didn't understand everything correctly. Despite all the shame, Zhao Yilong still tried to gain the trust of the head of the family, the guy asked for forgiveness and promised not to do this again. The old man forgave him, it seemed to him that the guest still did an excellent job, and he also wanted to know how the hero was able to cure the patient. Lin Qian made up a story that he had recently met a traditional medicine doctor who shared secret techniques with him. Zhao Yilong decided that the hero was simply lucky, such a loser like him really could not cure the president's son on his own. Despite this, the guest pretended to be polite and praised Lin Qian and also offered to drink the next glass in his honor. After this, Zhao Yilong turned to the old man and said that he had come here not only for dinner, but that he had a special gift. The guest pulled out of his pocket a small green porcelain figurine, this is a family heirloom, it is very rare and valuable. The man immediately became interested, as it turned out he was a big fan of collecting various antiques, he wanted to take a closer look. Zhao Yilong asked the owner of the family if he had enough knowledge to immediately say how much this precious artifact was worth. The old man picked up a small bowl and looked at it carefully for several minutes, surprise was clearly evident on his face. In the end, the guest revealed the secret, in fact, this is the personal medicine bottle of the former emperor of this country, its initial cost is approximately 20 million. The man was shocked, did this thing really belong to the emperor himself, if this is really the case, then he has a real treasure in his hands. Zhao Yilong is happy to give this jade bowl, if his dear uncle liked it so much, then he can take it for himself. The hero realized that the guest was trying with all his might to regain the old man's trust, did he really think that several million would affect something? Zhao Yilong was completely confident in the effectiveness of his plan, most of all, he wanted Ring Su to become his legal wife. At first the man did not want to accept such an expensive gift, in the end, this thing is too valuable to be passed from hand to hand like that. The guest assured that these were just little things, he informed the head of the family about his desire to marry his beautiful daughter, let this cup become a wedding gift. The beauty asked what Zhao Yilong was even talking about, why he decided that she would agree to marry him, she was not even asked for her opinion. At this moment, the guy stopped abruptly, he, of course, understood that the guest had some intentions, but such behavior was already beyond the bounds. Even the old man found this request too arrogant, Zhao Yilong is of course a very influential person who has a noble origin, but such things need to be discussed in advance. But the guest, in turn, did not see anything wrong with this, after all, if this marriage really takes place, then they will be able to strengthen the relationship between their influential families. Suddenly the head of the family thought for a few seconds, this is of course very unfair to his daughter, but it makes sense. At some point, the hero turned to Zhao Yilong and asked him if he had finished his speech, and if so, then they needed to have a serious conversation. As soon as the guest turned around, he immediately froze in extreme horror. Lin Qian was standing right next to him with an incredibly threatening look. Immediately after this, the hero pulled the insolent man aside by the hair, now this rich man will receive the harshest lesson of his life. The guy grabbed Zhao Yilong's head and threw it onto the table with all his might, causing the furniture to shatter into small pieces and create a loud noise around him. This arrogant upstart decided to take away his beautiful wife right in front of his eyes, is he really tired of living? The girl and her father stood nearby all this time and just watched, the hero was so furious that it was better not to approach him now. After a few minutes, the head of the family came to his senses a little and told the guy to immediately calm down, which is what he even allows himself to do. The hero was already so tired of the old man's endless reproaches that he simply looked at him with a predatory gaze and ordered him to shut up at that very second. The man was shocked by this answer, his useless son-in-law had never behaved like this before, he usually remains silent and does whatever he says. The hero told Zhao Yilong, who was lying unconscious at that moment, that Ring Su was his legal wife, no one was allowed to pester her. If the upstart decides to try his luck again and lose his life, he should learn today's lesson well and not do anything stupid again. Lin Qian also told the old man that his daughter obeyed him only because of family ties, no one allowed the father to control the girl. After that, 
The hero grabbed the beauty by the hand and told her that they were leaving this terrible place, his wife asked him to calm down a little, but he was determined. As a bonus, the hero grabbed a small jade cup and threw it against the wall with all his strength, eventually turning the precious antique into a pile of trash. Because of this, the head of the family finally lost his temper, did the worthless brat decide to challenge him, if he wants war, then so be it. The old man looked at the small pieces of jade lying on the floor for a long time, before his eyes, a real treasure had just been destroyed. The man was so sad that he decided to put at least small pieces together, maybe there would be a good craftsman who could fix the bowl. Meanwhile, the guest woke up and slowly rose to his feet, the old man decided that Lin Qian must definitely answer for what he had done. The husband and wife got into the car and drove away, the girl asked the hero why he did this, after all, Zhao Yilong is a representative of a very influential family. In fact, the hero did not see any problem in this, he was able to protect a loved one, even if the whole world was against him. The beauty, in turn, was still very worried, even though this guy's family does not have such strong influence, but is very rich. Moreover, Zhao Yilong's father loves his son very much, so when he finds out about what happened, he will probably want to take revenge. Despite all the warnings, Lin Qian continued to behave absolutely calmly, even though he now has a lot of problems, but this does not scare him. The guy turned sharply to the side and stopped near the side of the road, now he wanted to finally spend some time with his wife. The beauty asked her husband what he was doing, they had better get out of this city as soon as possible and find some inconspicuous shelter. The hero once again asked the girl not to worry, he will take care of everything and will definitely protect his wife, now his patience has run out. At some point, Lin Qian approached Ring Su and reminded her that they were actually a couple, so they should always love and support each other. The beauty began to admire her husband even more, he behaved like a real man, it was really as if he had been replaced. Zhao Yilong's father arrived at the Su family's family mansion a few hours later and was immediately informed about the incident at the hotel. Soon the hero arrived there, Zhao Kong and his guard came close to him and asked if he was the one called Ling Qian. The girl immediately asked her uncle to calm down, today there was a very big misunderstanding, her husband is actually very sorry. The hero immediately put his hand on Ring Su's shoulder and began to calm her down, in this situation it was definitely not their fault, it was just that Zhao Yilong tried to seduce the girl, and received a life lesson for it. The man completely lost his temper when he heard this, how this upstart dared to address him like that, even after beating his son. Zhao Kong ordered his guard to immediately put an end to this walking misunderstanding, today the honor of their family must be restored. His bodyguard was a very tall man named Du Xia and he asked his boss to just stand and watch the performance. The guy immediately noticed that the guard was not an ordinary fighter, a special aura emanated from him, which means that he spent a lot of time cultivating. As it turned out, Du Xia was one of the best fighters in this city, the girl had already heard stories about his victories in fist fights more than once. Ring Su really didn't want her husband to get hurt, so she again turned to her uncle and assured that only she was to blame for what happened. However, the man did not believe her, everything was already clear to him, it was just that one upstart beat up his dear son, and now he had to pay for it. Lin Qian walked up to his wife and put his hand on her head, now the girl better step aside and trust him, he will sort everything out. Still, the hero promised that he could destroy everyone who dared to harm Ring Su, and it did not matter to him who these people were. The bodyguard thought that these words sounded very arrogant, now he wanted to check even more whether the guy was so good in battle. Suddenly, a dark blue aura appeared around the guard's hand, his ability level at a much higher level than it seemed at first glance. This time the guy should be better prepared for a fight, because he has never met such a strong opponent before. Just as the opponents were fully prepared, they were suddenly interrupted by Zhao Yilong, who ordered everyone to stop immediately. The guy had already fully come to his senses, but his face was badly damaged, and for some reason he also took Mr. Su hostage. The girl was rightly indignant at why Zhao Yilong handcuffed her father, he should release the man as quickly as possible. The guy, in turn, approached his father and told him in his ear that the old man had broken their precious jade relic, which was worth a lot of money. Zhao Kong at first thought that his son was just joking, this thing was their family treasure that was passed down from generation to generation. The man abruptly rushed to Mr. Su and began to scold him that his family members allow themselves, although they are very influential, 
this does not give them the right to behave like that. The old man apologized and promised to compensate for all losses, but Zhao Yilong was beaten by a non-family member, Ling Zichien is no longer related to them. The man agreed to such conditions, but could this old man pay him 30 million and cover the cost of treating his leg? The girl insisted that although their jade figurine was incredibly ancient, no one would ever give such a colossal amount for it. Zhao Kong didn't agree with this, if Ring Su doesn't believe him, then they can go to the antique market right now and check everything. Suddenly, the hero joined the conversation, he agreed with the man's proposal, if the bowl really costs that kind of money, then Lin Qian will pay for everything himself. However, if it turns out that the relic is actually a fake, then the guy will break Zhao Yilong's second leg as punishment. But before that, the hero must hear the answer to one question, is Mr. Su really there? wants to exclude him from the family forever. The guy just wanted to finally make sure that from today on he has nothing to do with these people, to be honest, this is a real relief. The old man got angry in his usual manner, this mediocrity continued to talk to him in a disrespectful tone, he is forbidden to approach this house even a kilometer. In fact, the guy had been thinking for quite some time that the easiest way out of this situation would be a divorce from Ring Su. That is why Lin Zichien reacted absolutely calmly, he answered Mr. Su that he understood everything and would no longer claim anything. And the girl, in turn, did not want to let the guy go, he was the only person who treated her with respect and kindness. The hero promises the beauty that he will not leave just like that, Lin Zichien will in any case help her get out of this situation, as promised. In fact, Ring Su did not mean this, she really wanted to save this marriage, she always considered the guy to be very kind and sweet. After that, Lin Zichien approached the beaten guy to talk, but the bodyguard immediately blocked his way. The hero asked the guard not to stress so much, he just wants to go to the antique market as soon as possible and deal with the relic. The old man could no longer wait to see how this upstart would pay a huge sum of money and disgrace himself, he would have to give away the entire gift from the president. Within a few minutes everyone arrived at the right place, despite the late hour, there were a lot of people at the jewelry market. One of the merchants immediately recognized Zhao Yilong, they had known each other for quite some time, dating back to the time when the merchant was just starting his business. It turned out that these two had conspired, the guy wrote to a friend in advance and asked him to value the broken jade bowl for much more than it actually costs. Zhao Yilong lied to the others that he was lucky to find the best expert who was very knowledgeable about antiques. The man picked up a magnifying glass and carefully examined a small piece of the bowl for several minutes, he needed to behave naturally. In the end, he sighed heavily and prepared to give a speech he had prepared in advance. This fragment, in his opinion, was incredibly valuable. The girl began to worry very much whether the family heirloom was really worth such colossal money. The merchant played his role quite convincingly, he pretended that he had never seen something more precious before. Ring Su asked the man to look again, she found it hard to believe that such a small thing could cost as much as 30 million. But the dealer asked not to doubt his abilities, he has been appraising antiques throughout his life and is a professional. Zhao Yilong turned to the girl and asked her to calm down, there is no need to complicate things so much, now they will have to compensate for all the damage. This means that her husband is obliged to pay an incredible amount of money, but she has the opportunity to help the hero, she can mitigate the guilt in another way. If Ring Su agrees to marry Zhao Yilong, then they will pretend that nothing happened, this is better than getting deeply into debt. Suddenly, their conversation was interrupted by Lin Zichien, he was tired of enduring the rich man's vile behavior, apparently he would have to put him in his place again. The guy wondered if Zhao Yilong hadn't learned his previous lesson and wanted to go to the hospital again, he should behave more carefully. The bodyguard immediately came to the defense of his boss, he asked the hero what this brat was allowing himself, the man was ready for a fight at any moment. Lin Zichien recommended that the guard retreat, he would not have enough strength to resist the guy anyway. Meanwhile, Zhao Yilong called Mr. Su over to him, at that moment an arrogant smile was visible on his face, he was very pleased with his plan. Now the evaluation has officially been completed, if they don't want to pay 30 million, then Ring Su is obliged to marry him. The girl categorically refused such an offer, she would rather die than agree to enter into an alliance with such a vile person. Zhao Kong was already quite tired this evening, 
he wanted to resolve this issue as soon as possible and go home, either they pay the money or enter into an agreement. Suddenly some people approached them, the first thing they did was turn to the hero and call him by name, they had clearly met somewhere before. As it turned out it was Yuyui and her grandfather, the girl could not believe that she was again unlucky enough to meet this stupid pervert. The elderly man's name was Mr. Mao, everyone in this market knew him very well and respected him, one of the traders asked what brought him here. The grandfather replied that he was just walking with his beloved granddaughter, she is interested in antiques and loves collecting various relics. In fact, Mr. Mao is the owner of this antique market, and he is also considered the most famous person in this field. Lin Qian immediately realized that this was an excellent opportunity to check the jade shard again, the elderly man would definitely not refuse him. When the merchant and his accomplice heard this, they began to panic greatly, if the old man discovered their deception, they would be in big trouble. Mr. Mao happily agreed to help his young friend, he only needs to hand over the item and he will immediately find out all the information. The hero quickly took a small piece of the emperor's cup from the merchant, and then gave it to the man's hands to see if it was really worth millions. As soon as Mr. Mao took the thing in his hands, he immediately doubted it, now the deceivers had no chance of success. Grandfather was one of the best experts on such issues, his opinion can be trusted with 100% probability, the broken cup was worth a maximum of 2 million. Zhao Yilong and his friend the seller were scared to death, if they didn't come up with some kind of excuse now, they would be finished. Ring Su immediately took advantage of the moment and accused the Zhao family of deception, how dare they blackmail her into marrying an unloved person. Zhao Yilong immediately began to make excuses, he could not come up with anything better than to accuse Mr. Mao of incompetence. The elderly man was indignant when he heard this, did the young man really want to say that the owner of the antique market made an incorrect assessment? Zhao Kong tried to help his son and apologized for his behavior, in fact there was a terrible misunderstanding, they fully admit their guilt. His son tried to stand his ground, but his father ordered him to immediately close his mouth, he does not even understand who he is talking to now. After that, Mr. Su approached the head of another family and said that he would remember today's incident for the rest of his life, their family would not wash away such a shame. Zhao Kang, in turn, laughed, the old man shouldn't pretend to be a saint, because he is no better, everyone knows how greedy he is. Mr. Su was even willing to give his own daughter to a man she hated with all her heart, he definitely shouldn't open his mouth. In the end, Zhao Yilong and his father leave, if anyone wants to start a war with them, they will destroy anyone so it is better not to mess with them. The guy still didn't understand why Zhao Kong didn't let him put the stupid old man in his place, but in fact, it's better not to mess with Mr. Mao. Suddenly, Lin Qian approached them, he wanted to discuss one important thing, whether his enemies had forgotten the terms of the treaty. Zhao Yilong was very surprised, they already forgave them for the destruction of the family heirloom, what more does this arrogant fool need? It turned out that the hero's memory was much better because they agreed that if the jade bowl was fake, the guy would be left with a broken leg. His father was shocked that this upstart allowed himself, they forgave him for many antics, but this time his behavior went beyond all limits. At the same time, Lin Qian behaved very calmly and did not understand the man's dissatisfaction, he simply acted according to the terms of the agreement. Zhao Kong could no longer tolerate such humiliation, he was ready to finish off the arrogant idiot with his own hands right now. However, as soon as the man tried to do this, he felt the hero's terrifying gaze on himself, at that moment he became too scared. Therefore, Zhao Kong stopped abruptly, he had better think about it carefully and call the bodyguards here. The man ordered the hero to stand still and not move, he no longer wanted to get into a fight, if they just left, then it would already be a victory. After that, a bodyguard came up to them and helped Zhao Yilong walk to the car, and then they really just went home. Mr. Su once again scolded his worthless son-in-law, he did not understand why this idiot broke the leg of a representative of another family. Suddenly the hero grabbed the old man by the clothes, now that he is no longer part of their family, he will no longer have to endure insults. Ring Xiu felt sorry for her father and she stood up for him, although the girl does not want a divorce from her husband, but still the man is already aged. In the end, Lin Qian decides to leave, since he no longer has anything to do with the Su family, he can start a new free life. The girl tried to stop him, but the hero did not want to listen to her at all, 
but simply turned around and went about his business. Mr. Su came to his senses and ordered his daughter to return immediately. Does she really continue to protect this scoundrel even after everything that happened? First of all, the guy approached Mr. Mao and thanked him for his help, and grandfather, in turn, reciprocated. After all, thanks to the hero, he managed to find an unscrupulous dealer, someone like him has no place in the antiques market. The deceiver immediately fell to his knees and began to beg the elderly man to forgive him, in fact, he was not guilty of anything and was simply forced. However, the market owner did not believe him and ordered him to leave immediately, from today he is prohibited from trading in these places. At some point, even Yuyui noticed that the hero is a rather handsome guy, and he also behaves very confidently and straightforwardly. The girl looked at him with an interested look, but the hero didn't even notice this, but simply continued talking with Mr. Mao. Because of this, his granddaughter got angry in her usual manner, and the guy, in turn, accepted his grandfather's invitation and was going to go for a walk. Together they climbed to the second floor, on the first floor there were private shops, but on top were the most important and valuable relics. Lin Qian immediately thought that there might be items here that could speed up his cultivation process. Soon, one unusual thing caught his attention, it was a large gemstone that emanated an unusual aura. The elderly man said that someone brought this strange stone here a year ago, but the gentleman did not know how valuable this thing was. Lin Qian asked his friend if he could hold the crystal in his hands, Mr. Mao was happily ready to take the artifact from the display case. When the unusual stone was in the guy's hands, the energy emanating from it began to behave completely differently. After this, the hero had no doubt that this crystal could become an excellent source of spiritual power. If the guy liked the artifact so much, then Mr. Mao is ready to give it to him for free, Ling Qian didn't even believe it at first. However, it is indecent to refuse gifts, so the hero will gladly take the crystal for himself, and help Mr. Mao as payment. Somehow, the guy managed to find out that the elderly man had been suffering from an unknown disease for quite some time, and he could be helped. Mr. Mao still doesn't understand how his comrade knows about his problem, but it doesn't really matter. Lin Qian could start directly here, but there are too many people in the market, they better find some quiet place. The elderly man offers to go straight to his house, if the hero does not mind, but the road there takes quite a long time. The guy agreed, but noticed that it was already very late on the street, so it would be better if Mr. Mao just told him the address. And Lin Qian will come to his house tomorrow morning and do everything necessary, the elderly man agreed and sincerely thanked his friend. The next day, Ring Su woke up quite late and immediately went to her husband's room, she wanted to meet him. However, when she opened the door to his room, she found no one inside, so was he really gone forever? Apparently his words yesterday that nothing connects him with Xiu's family anymore were the pure truth, perhaps they will never meet. The girl could not calm down and decided to at least call the hero, more than anything, she wanted to know where he was now. Lin Qian was doing his bodyguard duties at this time, he needed to take Mrs. Lin to her office every morning. Ring Su called her husband many times, but he kept hanging up, is she really unworthy of even talking, the guy is acting like a fool. The director of the company told the hero that there will be a party tonight, if he wants, he can come there. And now the boss needs to go, she has a lot of important things to do, Lin Qian could do whatever he wanted at this time. The guy thanked his boss and wished her a good day, Mrs. Lin asked him to call her by name, these formalities are useless. This girl looked incredibly attractive, because she not only had a beautiful figure and appearance, but also excellent charisma. The hero expected that this would be a very easy job, but every day it becomes more and more difficult for him to control himself at the sight of such a goddess. Now he has quite a lot of free time, so the guy goes to help Mr. Mao as soon as possible. A few hours later, Lin Qian arrived at the place, the elderly man lived in a luxurious mansion, by the way, his granddaughter was unhappy with such guests. Mr. Mao first of all asked his friend for forgiveness for having to come such a long way, in fact, this is nothing. Suddenly, the calm hero of the sharp was interrupted, he saw two very strong cultivators in front of him, their aura was incredibly powerful. This was the first time the guy met such capable people, if they started fighting right now, it would be very difficult to determine the winner. The elderly man hurried to introduce these people, the young founder of a large corporation was named Ning Zhengqing. This is the most outstanding young man in the entire city, 
despite the large age difference, he and Mr. Mao are very good friends. The young master and the hero shook hands, it will be useful for the guy to make such influential friends, they will definitely come in handy in the future. But the second person behaved completely differently, he stood still all the time and looked towards Lin Qian with a very stern gaze. The tall man was also a cultivator, this world is far from being as simple as it might seem to the hero at first glance. Ning Zhengqing decided to calm the situation a little and explained that this was his personal bodyguard with the call sign Dark Eagle. Mr. Mao invited all the guests to the house, they should start as soon as possible, after all, Ling Qian has many other things to do. When they had almost reached the threshold, the Dark Eagle turned to his boss and recommended that he take a better look at the guy. At the same time, in another part of the city, Mr. Su was sitting in his office, his secretary told him very bad news. It turned out that one of the main investors in their company suddenly decided to withdraw all his assets, now they are in a very difficult situation. The man became very angry, beads of sweat appeared on his face, the girl tried to calm him down, perhaps they had one last chance. The old man sharply turned his gaze to her and asked her to continue, in fact, there was only one way left now, Ning Zhengqing had to help them. If the young owner of the company agrees to lend them some money, then they will have time to stabilize the remaining assets. Mr. Su was well aware that meeting such an influential person would be very problematic, but they had no other options. Meanwhile, the treatment process was taking place in Mr. Mao's mansion, the hero successfully managed to free the patient from the evil aura. Everything happened quite quickly, the elderly man did not even immediately realize that he was completely healthy, now he could breathe deeply again. Ning Zhengqing was very impressed with the guy's abilities, his treatment methods are simply amazing, maybe he can help his father too. Lin Qian is happy to help, because in this way he will be able to make friends with a rich and influential person. The guy said it very straightforwardly, Ning Zhengqing really liked this behavior because he likes to behave exactly the same. Suddenly, one of Mr. Mao's assistants ran into their room and told the young master that a person was trying to contact him. As it turned out, Mr. Su decided to seek help from Ning Zhengqing as soon as possible, but the man didn't even know who he was. The young owner of the company thought for a while and finally remembered, but he doesn't have time now, so he will answer later. As soon as the hero heard the familiar name, he immediately became interested and asked Ning Zhengqing to hold a joint meeting with Mr. Su. The young master didn't expect that his new acquaintance and the head of an influential family had met before, in fact, he didn't mind. Lin Qian briefly described the whole situation, unfortunately he had to divorce the beautiful woman because of her unbearable father. Ning Zhengqing turned to his assistant and asked her to arrange a meeting with Mr. Su as soon as possible. The hero was very happy at that moment he had a unique chance to take revenge on the annoying old man who constantly humiliated him. Soon the hero and his influential acquaintance arrived in a luxurious office, the guy could feel at home and do whatever he wanted. Lin Qian said that it is very pleasant to be in such a luxurious room, Ning Zhengqing is even ready to give this room to the guy if he wants to work for him. The hero politely refused such an offer, because he already has a very good job, and besides, he doesn't really like sitting in one place. A few minutes later, the secretary came to them and said that their guest would arrive very soon, the boss thanked her for the information. Mr. Su opened the doors and first of all thanked Ning Zhengqing for such an influential person finding time for him. At some point, the old man notices that Lin Qian is sitting next to him, he asked his former son-in-law how he managed to end up here. The guy, in turn, calmly answered, he was just visiting his friend, and this should in no way concern Mr. Su. The old man had more important things to do now, so he turned to Ning Zhengqing and asked for his help, his company is now in a difficult situation. The young master replied to the guest that if he had any problems, then he should talk to his assistant, namely Lin Qian. Mr. X could not believe it, how his worthless son-in-law could achieve incredible success in such a short time. Immediately after this, the hero got up from his chair and asked the old man what so terrible happened to his money, and if he could help with anything. The older man wanted nothing more than to ask this guy for help, but now he had no choice, so he explained the situation. Lin Qian listened to everything carefully, but he was interested in one question, 
why should he worry about the affairs of the family from which he was kicked out? The old man abruptly changed his attitude towards the hero and insisted that he was legally still Ring Su's husband. The guy didn't want to listen to this nonsense and ordered Mr. Su to shut up, didn't he tell him that the road to their house was forever closed to him? The elderly man tried to come up with some kind of excuse, but nothing worked for him, it looks like he will have to leave here with nothing. Ling Qian asked Mr. Su to leave this office as soon as possible, and Ning Zhengqing immediately called his personal guard. Dark Eagle arrived within a few seconds, the old man understood that if he left now, his company would come to an end. Therefore, the elderly man makes one last attempt and literally begs his former son-in-law for help, does he really have no conscience? To his great regret, he has nothing happened, the guard quickly grabbed Mr. Sue by the clothes and dragged him to the exit. In the end, the old man again began to call his former son-in-law an idiot and a lazy man, but this did not matter now. The guy asked his friend for forgiveness for this misunderstanding, and Ning Zhengqing asked how he managed to get into the Su family. The young master considered his new friend a good person, his question might seem thoughtless, the guy did not need to not answer it. However, Lin Qian calmly told his acquaintance that he had once fallen in love with an incredibly beautiful woman. Ning Zhengqing now everything has become clear, the Su family lost a lot when they kicked out the hero, he shouldn't worry about it. The hero replied that everything was fine, now they should go to the young master's father and do everything possible to help him. The man did not expect that his new friend would be so attentive, he really sincerely wants to help his loved one. They soon arrived at a very large clinic that was entirely owned by the young master's corporation. This is where his father was, a month ago the man fell ill with a very strange disease, now he says strange things every day. Moreover, most of the time the patient is unconscious, the best doctors tried to cure him, but no one could make a diagnosis. The hero watched the patient for some time, suddenly he managed to notice a very unusual aura, this can only be done intentionally. Lin Qian couldn't believe it, could there really be evil cultivators in this world, this disease cannot be explained in any other way. Ning Zhengqing asked his friend if he could help his father, the guy replied that he would do everything possible, but the situation was very difficult. The hero fully concentrated on the process and concentrated spiritual energy in his hand, and after that he tried to extract the aura from the patient's body. After some time, this gave its results, the man coughed sharply, this had never happened to him before. Ning Zhengqing held his breath at this moment, could Ling Qian really do what the best doctors in the country had failed to do? The young master approached his relative's bed and asked how the man was feeling, perhaps he needed to bring something. The father did not yet fully understand where he was and what had happened to him, so he asked his son about it. Ning Zhengqing could finally breathe a sigh of relief, he told his relative that he was saved by a very talented cultivator. As soon as the young master wanted to thank his friend, he noticed that he suddenly disappeared somewhere. Dark Eagle informed his boss that Lin Qian had gone out into the corridor and was waiting for him outside, he had some important conversation. Ning Zhengqing told his father to rest and gain strength, and now he needs to move away, the man thanked his son and dozed off. The hero asked his influential acquaintance if his family had any conflicts with other representatives or organizations. The gentleman immediately realized that the guy was hinting at his father's illness, did the man really get sick because of someone's evil intentions? Lin Qian believed that this option was the most likely, the master should carefully consider who his enemy might be. Ning Zhengqing is promised to give an answer soon, but now he wants to thank his new friend, he gives him a card with a lot of money on it. The hero reciprocates and asks you to contact him for any help, he will do everything possible to protect his friends. After this, the guy goes about his business, and soon he needs to go to Mrs. Lin's office. As soon as Lin Qian left the hospital, he immediately noticed that a person was following him, perhaps this was very dangerous. The pursuer turned out to be the bodyguard of the Zhao family, at some point the man lost sight of his target and looked around in search of her. Suddenly the guy turned to him from above, he asked the guard why he needed to watch him in such a place. Does the man really want to take revenge for his master's broken leg, this actually turned out to be true, now Lin Qian must answer for his actions. The hero immediately understood everything, but he was still interested in one question, did the bodyguard really think that he could defeat him? After that, Lin Qian instantly moved towards the man and put a very sharp branch to his throat. The bodyguard did not have time to understand anything, 
the hero moved incredibly quickly and asked him again if the guard wanted to continue the fight. Soon the hero let go of the man, he was so scared that he fell to the ground, and his whole face was covered with sweat, where did this guy get such strength? Lin Qian asked the bodyguard why he continues to work for people who do not value him at all, while the man continues to train all the time. The guard understood that if the guy wanted to kill him, he would have done it a long time ago, in fact, the man only knows how to fight, so he cannot find another job. Now the hero understood everything, and he also became interested in how much one of the richest families in the city pays its faithful bodyguard. The man's salary turned out to be very small, he received only 10,000 a month, is he really satisfied with this situation? The security guard has no money at all, so he has to work where he was hired, unfortunately he was given no choice. Suddenly, Ling Qian suggested that the man start working for him, this is in any case better than obeying such bad people as the Zhao family. The bodyguard became interested in such an offer and asked what his salary would be, the guy replied that he could cover all the expenses of his employee. The man understood that it was better for him to agree, after all, the hero treated him with respect, and besides, he didn't want to die for pennies. After this, the guy releases the guard and recommends that he return to the Zhao family, if anything is needed they will tell him. The hero also gave his new employee one special thing that will help him make great progress in his training. It was a small golden-colored pill, a man should eat it when he returns home, he will feel the effect within a few minutes. The bodyguard politely bowed to his new employer, no one had ever treated him with such kindness. Now Lin Qian must go to Mrs. Lin as soon as possible, because she is already a little late for a very important meeting. Luckily the guy knows how to drive a car very well so they made it on time, he told the boss that he would be waiting for her outside. However, the woman really wanted the guy to accompany her all the time, because she is very fragile and needs protection. Lin Qian was a little surprised by such a request, it's unlikely that anything will happen to his boss in this restaurant, but he doesn't mind at all. In the end, they went together to the entrance, from the outside it might seem that the heroes were actually a very beautiful couple. As soon as Mrs. Lin and her bodyguard tried to enter the restaurant, they were stopped for some reason by the security guards and asked to wait a little. It turned out that they didn't like Lin Qian's appearance, so the restaurant staff didn't want to let him pass any further. The woman insisted that this was her personal guard, so he must definitely go with her. After some time, a man in a very expensive suit came out to them and greeted Mrs. Lin, it was with this person that the meeting should take place. The girl turned to the restaurant owner with a request, her bodyguard must be next to her, he can be trusted. The man did not see any problem in this and asked the guards to calm down, if Mrs. Lin wanted it, then the guy could pass. After this, everyone moves on, lunch should take place in one of the most luxurious halls of this establishment. At the same time, Lin Qian was not particularly interested in the expensive interior, he was much more worried about the cultivators that stood on every corner. The restaurant owner politely pulled back one of the chairs and asked Mrs. Lin to sit down, their food would be brought out very soon. The girl calmly walked forward and took her place, and the hero stood very close to her so that in case of danger he could quickly react. But at some point, one of the security guards turned to the guy and asked him to go to the next room, these are the rules of their restaurant. The man explained this by saying that the bodyguard does not need to know about their business conversations, the guy can calmly drink tea somewhere nearby. Mrs. Lin trusted the restaurant owner and let her protector go, after all, this place looks quite safe. Lin Qian obeyed the order, but asked the girl to immediately call him for help in case of danger, he would return immediately. As soon as the hero left, the man immediately snapped his fingers and called the waitress, he wanted to drink excellent wine. The worker arrived within a few seconds, holding several bottles of elite alcohol in her hands. The restaurant owner invited his guest to try wine that was made in his personal winery. The girl accepted the offer and drank a little alcohol, this was a fairly common phenomenon, the main thing is to stop in time. At some point, the owner of the restaurant began to behave very indecently, he kept looking at Mrs. Lin's beautiful figure. And when the guest suggested moving on to business, the man suggested postponing this issue for now, couldn't they just relax? Mrs. Lin didn't suspect anything wrong and simply drank some more wine from her glass, but she didn't really want to stay here. Suddenly the owner of the restaurant put his hand directly on the thigh of his guest, 
he also complimented her and said that she was very beautiful. The man almost directly hinted that he was ready to pay a lot of money for the special services that the girl could provide him. Mrs. Lin pretended that she didn't understand anything and asked again whether the owner of the restaurant was really hinting at sex. When the man grabbed her by the waist, the girl finally ran out of patience. If they didn't start working right away, she would leave. The restaurant owner grabbed Mrs. Lin's hand and began to apologize, he admitted his mistakes and asked his dear guest to stay. At the same time, the man also confessed his feelings to the girl. He sincerely liked her, but his business partner was not interested. She didn't like the fact that the man behaved very disrespectfully, and the owner of the restaurants, in turn, could not understand why he should respect the guest. Now the girl had no doubts left, her business partner turned out to be a real bastard, she needed to leave this place as soon as possible. However, the man was not going to let such a beauty go anywhere, did she really think that some pathetic bodyguard would stop him? Lin Zichien, meanwhile, was in the next room and just waiting, but he quickly got tired of it and decided to check if everything was okay. As soon as the guy got up from his chair, he was immediately stopped by one of the restaurant workers, because he was ordered to wait here. The hero asked the guard why they didn't want him to look into the main hall, in response to this the man with glasses simply remained silent. In fact, it was a huge mistake, the restaurant worker didn't even have time to react, the guy knocked him out with one blow. As a result, the man with glasses fell to the floor and lay unconscious, apparently he had a hard day, now he had the opportunity to rest. Suddenly another guard appeared near the door, his name was Bai and he advised the hero to stay here if his life was dear to him. Lin Zichien wondered how strong this fighter was, since he decided to challenge him, he must have special abilities. As soon as the guy finished his thought, Bai immediately rushed forward, he moved very quickly, even though his eyes were closed. The fight created a lot of noise, the owner of the restaurant heard it and decided to make sure that the girl's bodyguard did not run away. Mrs. Lin immediately warned the man that if something happened to her ward, she would remember it for the rest of her life. The business partner advised the girl to calm down, he was just wondering what this guy was capable of, for this he asked his cultivator to start a fight with him. Mrs. Lin had heard of cultivators before, but had never seen one in person, did the restaurant owner really have such a fighter? The man told the girl that in their city there are three main corporations, each of which has a special cultivator. Times have changed a lot, today those families who have strong and capable fighters have the most influence. The restaurant owner offers Mrs. Lin a deal, if she satisfies all his needs, he will find her a good bodyguard. At that moment, the girl was very scared, tears even appeared in her eyes, wondering if no one would come to her aid. The man felt complete power and put even more pressure on his guest, she should make her choice as soon as possible. Suddenly, the same cultivator that the restaurant owner had so praised flew into their room, and he smashed his body through the wall. After that, the hero came and ordered the restaurant owner to immediately remove his stinking paws from Mrs. Lin, otherwise he would wipe off his powder. The man just now found out that Lin Zichien is also a cultivator, and his skill level is also incredible. The girl, in turn, also did not know about the special abilities of her bodyguard, was he really that strong? First of all, the hero asked his boss for forgiveness for the wait, he was a little interrupted by one eccentric, but it seems the guy came just in time. Despite this, the owner of the restaurant was not afraid, the man once again turned to the girl and asked her what she finally decided. Lin Zichien noticed how worried Mrs. Lin was and tried to calm her down, no one would force her to do anything against her will. The girl plucked up courage and told the man that she did not intend to accept his offer, and now their business relationship would end. When the hero and his boss were about to leave, the owner of the restaurant ordered them to stop, unless someone allowed them to leave here. The guy even wondered how these weaklings would try to stop him, that masked cultivator was not that strong. The man believed that only he was allowed to decide who would leave here alive, there was no person in the whole city who would dare to insult him like that. Lin Zichien, in response to this, advised the restaurant owner to get used to it, everything happens for the first time, he is not so omnipotent. In fact, the man really liked the hero's fearlessness, but he was always infuriated when someone overestimates his capabilities. The guy chose the right moment and instantly became close to the owner of the restaurant, and then hit him in a special place on his neck. Because of this, the man instantly passed out, he shouldn't pretend to be a god, people like him usually only know how to talk. Bai tried to help his boss, 
but unfortunately his speed in this case was not enough, he simply could not keep up with Lin Zichien. The hero asked the employee of the establishment to calm down a little, they themselves are able to call a taxi for themselves, and they should also learn one lesson. If they try to harm Mrs. Lin one more time, they would rather not push their luck if they lose their own lives. After some time, the owner of the restaurant woke up, he was incredibly angry and ordered his bodyguard to immediately hold a meeting. At that moment, the man wanted more than anything to destroy this guy, in his life he had never experienced such shame. Mrs. Lin and her defender, meanwhile, had already left this ill-fated restaurant, the guy tried to support his boss. As it turned out, the girl was worried about the owner of the restaurant, perhaps she shouldn't have hit him so hard. After all, in the end, this man has a lot of money and connections, if he wants to take revenge on them, then they will have huge problems. Lin Zichien still behaved absolutely calmly, even if the restaurant owner is very cool, this is no reason to offend Mrs. Lin. The girl was very impressed by such words, the hero behaved like a real knight who was always ready to help. As a result, Mrs. Lin calmed down a little, she was very interested in one question, did the guy know that their city was controlled by three large organizations? Their main strength is cultivators, because of this, other companies cannot develop normally and grow successfully in any industry. These people take advantage of their superiority and cause harm to other people, each clan has its own special fighter. Lin Zichien just now found out about this and was very interested in whether his boss knew how strong these people with special abilities were. Unfortunately, Mrs. Lin did not know all the details, in any case, you need to be careful, the owner of the restaurant is a very vindictive person. It turned out that the man's name was Yang Sen, right now the most influential people in the city had gathered in one place at his request. Ning Zhengqing asked the owner of the restaurant why they came here, after all, the man only had one opportunity to initiate a meeting. The young master hoped that this time it was really something serious, because usually all sorts of nonsense is discussed here. Their dialogue was interrupted by a woman with red hair, she asked the men to calm down a little, they are very rare anyway, why don't they talk? In the end, Yang Sen asked for attention and moved on to the main thing, in fact, he gathered everyone today for a very important matter. The man asked to keep secret everything that his colleagues would hear here today, Ning Zhengqing was intrigued by such words. Therefore, I asked the hero of the occasion to quickly explain everything, did he really want to start a war with another organization again? Yang Sen said that everything is much simpler, he only needs to kill one person who humiliated him a few days ago. When the young master heard his good friend's name, he immediately began to protest, he would never harm his father's savior. The woman with red hair, in turn, didn't even understand who she was talking about, could her colleagues tell her a little about this guy? Ning Zhengqing stood up for the hero, since he is his faithful comrade, the master will not allow him to be harmed. Yang Sen didn't care what kind of relationship these people had, Ling Zichien dared to hit him, so he should receive a fair punishment. His colleagues were very surprised when they heard this, if this is really true, then the hero has huge problems. To be honest, it doesn't matter to a man whether he receives support today, he can deal with this scoundrel on his own. The woman agreed that the situation was very serious, but in her opinion, a simple apology should be enough. Yang Sen will be able to forgive the hero only when he kneels before him and begs for mercy, he has no other options. Meanwhile, Lin Zichien and his boss arrived at the hotel, the girl was about to change clothes and asked the guy to wait a little. Thanks to Mrs. Lin, the hero realized that there were quite a lot of cultivators in this world, now he needed to train even harder. Now he had an excellent result in the field of energy cultivation, now the guy could start practicing special techniques. Practice needs to start as soon as possible, because it is possible that the hero will meet a fighter who will be much stronger than him. After a while, Mrs. Lin came out of her room, she took off her usual clothes and put on a very short dress instead. Lin Zichien couldn't take his eyes off, this girl looked like a real goddess, he should pull himself together. The beauty offered her bodyguard something to drink, the guy tried to behave naturally and asked for some water. Mrs. Lin sat down next to him and sincerely thanked him for his help, if it weren't for him, everything could have ended very badly. The hero replied that everything was fine, after all, this was part of his job, suddenly the beauty moved closer and offered him a promotion. The guy could not take his eyes off her, only after a few seconds he managed to answer, if there was such an opportunity, 
he would not refuse the prize. At some point, they felt some kind of special connection between each other. Lin Ziqian decided to take the initiative and tried to kiss Mrs. Lin. However, this did not happen. At the very last moment the girl asked him to stop, they had better not rush. The hero apologized for his behavior, he shouldn't have behaved like that, apparently he misunderstood everything and did something stupid. The girl asked him not to worry about it, in fact, the problem is that now she does not have time for a normal relationship. After all, her company is now experiencing great difficulties with management, and now there is also a conflict with an influential person, after listening to this, the guy offered his help. Mrs. Lin points out that managing such a huge organization is very difficult, so they should think things through very carefully. Lin Ziqian decides that it's time for him to leave, if the boss doesn't have anything to do for him, then he wants to rest a little. The girl asked her bodyguard to wait a little, because he had just recently said that he was having difficulty finding housing. If this is really true, then the guy can safely stay with her, this room is fully paid for several days in advance. Ring Su, meanwhile, was patiently waiting for her husband, unfortunately he did not return even after several days. Her sister also noticed this and asked the girl where Lin Ziqian had gone, he had never disappeared for so long before. Ring Su didn't want to tell the whole truth, so she came up with a story that the guy just went on a business trip. However, the sister immediately understood everything, if the hero really had a regular job, then the girl would not worry so much. Ring Su didn't want to argue and just left, she herself didn't know where her husband had gone, besides, she didn't care whether he came back or not. This reaction surprised my sister very much, now she became even more interested in whether the couple had really quarreled so much. Mrs. Lin, meanwhile, brought fresh bed linen to her guest, but when she entered his room, it turned out that he was already asleep. The girl told him to wake up, it was too early outside, Besides, he should go to the bathroom and take a shower first. The hero thanked the boss and recommended that she also go and rest, after all, they had a very hard day today. At the same time, the guy himself had no intention of sleeping at all, as soon as the girl closed the door behind her, he immediately took his magic bag out of his pocket. He wanted to start learning new abilities as quickly as possible, now he had everything he needed. He must become stronger at all costs, this is the only way he will be able to protect the people close to him who need him. The next morning, Lin Ziqian got up early as usual and went to physical training, this method allowed him to progress faster. Now the guy could easily generate a large amount of spiritual energy and concentrate it at one point. In his previous life, it took him several months to practice the splitting blow, but now only one evening was enough. With this speed of cultivation, he would soon be able to become the strongest warrior in this world. At first glance, the blow did not seem very powerful. But as it turned out, all his power manifested itself a little later. After a few seconds, the training dummy exploded, pieces of wood scattered in different directions. Now the hero really wanted to finally go to the bathroom. After a hard workout, there is nothing better than a cold shower. Mrs. Lin also got up quite early today. By coincidence, the girl went to the same room where Lin Ziqian was now. He had just gotten out of the shower and turned his attention to his boss. The beauty, in turn, looked as if she had not yet woken up. Due to her sleepy state, Mrs. Lin did not notice the hero, she, unsuspectingly, sat down to do her business. As a result, the heroes found themselves in a very awkward situation, they looked at each other and none of them understood how best to react. In the end, the girl cannot stand the awkward silence and asks the hero why he is here so early and behaves so quietly. Lin Ziqian didn't even know how to respond to this, his boss just walked in here and immediately took off her clothes, he just didn't have time to say a word. But Mrs. Lin didn't care, she was only interested in one question, why the guy was still standing in front of her completely naked. The hero had to go out first, Although he did not see his fault in what happened, the boss behaves like a small child. The girl soon calmed down a little, she really should be more careful, how could she forget that now she was not alone in the house. When Ling Ziqian returned to his room, he suddenly received a call from Ning Zhengqin, the young master was asking about the situation with Yang Sun. If this really turns out to be true, then the guy may have some problems, he needs to come to his friend as quickly as possible. His boss, meanwhile, came out of the restroom, it became clear from her face that she was still very offended by her bodyguard. The hero noticed this and asked Mrs. Lin if she was okay, 
if she was really upset by ordinary misunderstandings. The girl claimed that she was not offended at all, but next time he should not look at her with such a strange look. At the same time, Lin Zichien still did not admit his guilt, unless the boss was the one who forced her to undress right in front of him. The beauty was so embarrassed that she ordered the guy to repeat his words again, to see if he really wanted to quarrel. Instead, the guy grabbed the girl by the waist and pulled her closer, next time he promises not to limit himself to just one look. As a result, they fell on the bed, this situation seemed even more awkward to the girl than today's incident in the restroom. She was so confused that she couldn't say a word, she had to make a very important choice between work and relationships. Mrs. Lin came to her senses quite quickly and asked her protector to calm down a little, they shouldn't do this. Lin Zichien, in turn, smiled and pretended that he didn't want to do anything strange, everything turned out completely by accident. In fact, now they had more important things to do, the hero tells his boss that a young gentleman called him and invited him to a meeting. The girl asks the hero not to go anywhere, because it may be too dangerous, but the guy wants to understand this situation in any case. The boss was very worried about the guy and wanted to go with him, and Lin Zichien, in turn, is sure that this is a very bad idea. If Mrs. Lin is present at this meeting, then the hero will have to worry about her all the time and his actions will become limited. The girl better stay in a safe place and just have faith in her protector, with his current level of power there is no way he will lose. Although Mrs. Lin understood this very well, she was still very sad, unfortunately she could not help the guy in any way. Soon the guy arrived at the right place, it was one of the oldest temples in the country, this is where important people gather. First of all, the young master introduced his friend to the head of the Shur organization, this woman's name was Kushur. Lin Zichien was glad to meet another influential person, but his feelings were not reciprocated. The woman wanted to avoid handshakes, she doesn't like empty chatter and came here only to resolve a serious conflict. The hero appreciated such straightforwardness, but he also wondered how Kushur would behave if she didn't succeed. If this really happens, then it will be the guy who will be the worst, then even his good friend Ning Zhengqing will not be able to help. As it turned out, Ling Zichien originally came here with the desire to put Yang Sen in her place, how can they now find a way out of this situation? Kushur was very amused by this, does this guy really think that anyone here is interested in his opinion? The hero asked the same question to the young master, Ning Zhengqing asked him to cool down a bit, everyone was here just to help Lin Zichien. The hero simply must apologize to the influential person, this is the only way they can conclude a truce. The guy had no more questions, he understood everything, but his principles do not allow him to apologize to bad people. Just as the hero was about to leave, his path was blocked by Yang Sen and several of his bodyguards, now he was about to take his revenge. Ning Zhengqing strongly recommends to his comrade to stop and think about everything carefully, it's not too late to settle everything. And the woman, in turn, simply sat down next to him and lit a cigarette, it seemed to her that it was better not to interfere in other people's conflicts. However, the young master assured that only a few minutes would be enough for him, he should at least try to resolve everything peacefully. Ning Zhengqing knew perfectly well that the hero is an incredibly capable fighter, but now he is in the minority, it is better not to risk it. Lin Zichien thanked his influential friend for his concern, in fact it was not necessary at all, he has life principles. Because of which he simply cannot kneel before such a scoundrel as Yang Sun, it is better to die in a fair fight. Yang Sun laughed when he heard this, this guy will be destroyed by his incredible self-confidence, the man ordered his guards to attack. After that, his two bodyguards immediately rushed to attack, these were some of the best cultivators in the city. Lin Zichien was even a little upset, is it really that his enemies are once again stepping on the same rake, so they will never win? The hero, thanks to his incredible speed, simply ran past the two fighters and instantly found himself right in front of Yang Sen's face. Now nothing stopped the guy from punching the scoundrel in the face with all his might, he had better remember this moment for a long time. Maybe at least this way he will learn a harsh life lesson, there are no all-powerful people in this world, there will always be someone bigger. Ning Zhengqing and his colleague could not believe their eyes, the situation was getting worse every minute, it was urgent to fix it. At the same time, do not forget about the remaining bodyguards, now they were even more angry and wanted to take revenge for their boss. The two men ran towards Lin Zichien, and he stood calmly in place, 
now he had a great opportunity to test his new technique. He concentrated a huge amount of his spiritual energy into his right fist, and then punched his enemy in the stomach with all his might. At first the man was amused by such a weak blow, but after a few seconds he felt severe pain throughout his body. Soon he was completely paralyzed, and blood began to flow from his mouth, it was the same disintegrating blow with delayed damage. His accomplice immediately tried to help, but there was no point in it, now, first of all, he needed to protect the master. In the end, the guards will not have such a chance, because the hero has already managed to prepare the next blow, and this should end the battle. The second opponent clearly did not have time to dodge, within a few moments the guy's fist should have reached him. Suddenly their fight was interrupted by a stranger, he used an unusual glove from which cables shot out as a weapon. This was a large man whose name was Lu Yun, he was one of the members of the Golden Claw, a special group of mercenaries. Lin Qian tried to assess the level of cultivation of his new enemy, but as it turned out, he did not come here alone. A certain girl also came with him, she moved very quietly and attacked from an ambush, the guy only managed to block her blow at the last moment. This beauty's name was Kairi, she is also a member of a special group of mercenaries, the girl appreciated the hero's reaction. After this, Ling Qian realized that this was no longer a joke, now two very strong cultivators stood against him. Lu Yun asked his accomplice if they had not agreed that this guy would become his prey. In fact, the girl thought that it was better to fight with such an opponent together, despite such a young age he is very talented. However, this no longer mattered at all, because in her opinion the hero had only a few minutes left to live. As soon as Kairi finished her sentence, Lin Qian felt a sharp pain all over his body, was it possible that someone had poisoned him? There was no other way to explain it, the guy was getting worse every second, at some point he began to see double. The hero suddenly felt that the last strength was leaving his body, he had never felt such fear before, was he really destined to die here? As it turned out, this poison was not life-threatening, it is essentially a strong sleeping pill, so Lin Qian would simply fall asleep. In this way, the mercenaries could safely deliver their target to the authorities, they need to act as quickly as possible before the guy wakes up. However, Yang Sun had other plans, the man took out a special device and pressed the big red button. Immediately after this, the floor disappeared under the guy and he fell down, he will have to try hard to get out of the trap. Yang Sun was very lucky, the mercenaries arrived at the most opportune moment for him, fate gave him a second chance. Lu Yun warned the man that their group did not belong to him, and the hero needed to be taken to the boss now he was acting very rashly. Yang Sun understood this perfectly well and admitted his mistake, but Ling Qian infuriated him so much that the villain could not help himself. Now the man will have to report to his superiors, the mercenaries must immediately take him to their secret headquarters. Ning Zhengqing was very worried about his comrade, if he could help him in any way, he would do everything possible. But unfortunately he found himself hostage to the situation, now the hero was behind bars, fortunately he still had his magic bag. What interested Lin Qian the most was the girl who could use poisons, her methods were very effective. If it weren't for the special elixir that the guy prepared in advance, he would still be unconscious. Despite the fact that the guy was trapped, he was not upset at all, it would not be difficult for him to escape from here soon. A special knife of the best quality will help him with this, it is made of gold and is capable of cutting other metals. The hero took a special artifact out of his bag and, with one deft movement, cut the iron bars, now he was free. However, it was too early to relax, now he was in some kind of deep dungeon, the path to the top promised to be long. The hero has been wandering around the underground prison for several hours, but he has not been able to find anything useful, this place is simply huge. Suddenly the guy discovered that a bloody man was lying in one of the cells, he had clearly been sitting here for more than one month. Apparently the mercenaries imprisoned a cultivator from their city here who did not agree with them, so they eliminated competitors. After a few more minutes of searching, Lin Qian heard a human voice, someone noticed him and asked for help. It was a little girl, she somehow managed to end up behind bars, but the guy could not understand what the child was doing here. In addition, the captive learned about his special artifact, the girl asked to use it to cut the bars and let her out of the cell. The hero was even more surprised at that moment, this child was clearly hiding something, perhaps he also has special abilities. The captive asked him not to stress so much, she was not going to harm him, 
after all, they were on the same side. In addition, the girl will be able to generously repay the guy for his help, Lin Zichian first of all clarified what exactly she meant. It turns out that the captive is going to kill Yang Sun, and when this happens, she is ready to serve her savior for the rest of her life. The hero, in turn, was in no hurry to help her. First, she needs to think everything over properly and understand what she is even capable of. The captive assures the guy that she will be very useful in battle. She has been trained in martial arts since childhood and has achieved some success. Lin Zichien thought a little more, but in the end he decided to trust the girl, he took out his golden knife from his bag and cut the iron bars. There was something else in this dungeon that the guy didn't even know about, he was being watched all the time with the help of bugs. Fortunately, the heroes managed to get out of the underground prison quite quickly, they immediately went to the nearest hotel and ordered food. It seemed as if the little girl had not eaten for several years, she managed to eat ten servings of soup at one time. Her name was Zha Lei, apparently this behavior was the norm for her, she did not understand why her new acquaintance was so surprised. The hero didn't know how to react to this, even an adult man wouldn't be able to eat that amount of food. The girl asks not to dwell on this, in fact she has very few needs, if she is fed well, then this is quite enough. Zha Lei handed her new friend a small piece of paper, all the members of the criminal group and their abilities were written down on it. Lin Zichien carefully studied all the data, it turned out that right now he was being hunted by eight people who were much stronger than him. Did the girl manage to independently obtain such information, what is her special ability? In response to this, Zha Lei simply asked the guy to look up, once upon a time, her grandfather gave her one secret technique, with which you can create small mechanical insects, as well as freely control them, this is an ideal means of reconnaissance. The image is transferred directly to the phone, so the girl was able to find out everything about the criminal group in just a few days. Lin Zichien was very impressed with these skills, this can really help him a lot, now he needs to come up with a plan. Meanwhile, Kusher was sitting in one of the most expensive restaurants in the city, Suddenly her phone rang, a voice told her bad news. Somehow, two prisoners managed to escape from the underground prison, and now all efforts are being devoted to searching for them. The woman clarified who the fugitives were, the voice on the phone said that it was Lin Zichien and the little girl with the beetles. Meanwhile, Zha Lei and her new friend were walking around the city, now they need to find some housing so as not to stay on the street in the evening. The hero, to be honest, didn't think about it, but does he really want the girl to spend the night on the street, since she doesn't have her own home? They finally went to the real estate sales department and were immediately greeted by the manager and asked if they would like to purchase an apartment. The guy replied that they wanted to look at all the options first, in fact he didn't want to buy something bad. Another worker told the manager that this man would hardly be able to afford to buy real estate, his clothes looked very cheap. It was indeed true that Lin Zichien had been unable to find a change of clothes after escaping from prison. The manager agreed with her colleague and decided to look after the client, it would be better if she helped him with his choice. The girl approached the hero and asked what kind of apartment he was interested in, first of all, his home should be very spacious. The manager was very surprised when she heard this, did this guy really have that much money and could he afford an expensive purchase? After some time, the guy was already inspecting the apartment that was offered to him, it was a large and luxurious apartment. Even Zha Lei didn't believe at first that her new friend had so much money, in appearance, he looked like an ordinary bodyguard. This was the best apartment in the city, this apartment even has a private swimming pool, the second worker, in turn, did not fully believe that Lin Zichien would buy this apartment. During her career, she had seen many such pretenders, but this time everything turned out differently, the guy gave them his card and approved the purchase. The woman was shocked how such a poor man could have such a sum on his card, he definitely stole this money. When the workers were about to leave, the guy suddenly stopped them and asked them to wait a little, he forgot to clarify one point. Suddenly the woman had hope again, he probably didn't have enough money in his bank account. In fact, everything turned out to be quite the opposite, the hero asked to write off the full cost at one time, it would be much easier. Meanwhile, Ning Xiang was in the Su family's house, the girl was clearly getting ready for some event and choosing an outfit for herself. The beauty decided not to wear tights, she looked at herself in the mirror and thought that her outfit looked too revealing. In fact, this is all she wanted, because she is now on a secret mission, during which she needs to pretend to be a waitress. Suddenly, 
her sister burst into her room and asked her the girl was going to go in such an open outfit. Ning Xiang asked the girl not to scare her like that, wasn't she taught to knock before entering, and in general this is necessary for work. Ring Su apologized and asked for one favor, she is very worried about one person and wants to find him. The sister is ready to listen to her right now. It was noticeable from the girl's face that she was really very worried about something. Ring Su told his relative the whole situation, because of which her husband left home, she really wants to bring him back. Ning Xiang couldn't believe what she heard, had Lin Zichian really left their home forever and had no intention of returning. When the girl went out into the street in her beautiful dress, all the guy's eyes were focused exclusively on her. The beauty took her sister's request very seriously but she could not understand why the guy did this. However, now she did not have time for this, the first thing she needed to do was complete her secret task and pretend to be a waitress. Ning Xiang got into the police car with her colleague, the man also appreciated all the beauty of the police officer. It even seemed to him that the girl's dress was too short, wasn't she afraid that this might cause additional difficulties? Ning Xiang asked the man not to worry about it, he only needs to bring her to the right place, then she will handle everything herself. Still, this was the best way to track down their target, this man was called the Lone Wolf, he is one of the most famous criminals. Meanwhile, in the new apartment, Zha Lei was finally able to take a shower, after several months in prison, she had already forgotten how pleasant it was. When the girl walked along the corridor, she suddenly felt the presence of some strange aura, it inspired fear. Its source was Lin Zichien, at this moment he was completely focused on cultivation, his spiritual energy filling the entire house. Today he managed to achieve some success, but the spiritual power of the earth was not enough, his training was going very slowly. With his current abilities, he has very little chance against such strong opponents as those two mercenaries. The hero decides to turn to his friend for help, at that moment the man was having fun at karaoke and suddenly heard a phone call. He immediately picked up the phone and asked the guy if he needed help, and if so, he was ready to come at any moment. In fact, Lin Zichien first wanted to just talk and make a plan, it would be better if he approached the man himself. His friend was at that time in a bar nearby, this place was very popular among young people. The guy went inside and at some point noticed a familiar person, it really surprised him what she was doing here. As it turned out, Ning Xiang, by pure chance, also came to this particular bar while carrying out her assignment. The man approached his boss and thanked him for that pill thanks to it he was able to greatly improve his energy. And the guy, in turn, asked how things were going with the Zhao family now, maybe they would want to take revenge again. However, the man assured that after that incident at the antique market, everyone calmed down a little, they no longer wanted to fight. In fact, they did the right thing, because in any case they don't have a chance, and now the comrades need to get closer to the point. Lin Zichien asked his employee for help, they need to find several people, for this they should create their own group. The man happily agreed to this proposal, he really wants to finally test his new abilities. Suddenly their conversation was interrupted, a man entered the bar, whom everyone abruptly began to greet and call by name. It turned out to be the same famous bandit with the nickname Lone Wolf, he greeted all the guests and wished them a good day. It seemed like this man was the owner of the bar because all the people started approaching him one by one. Lone Wolf immediately became interested in the undercover cop and was captivated by her incredible beauty. He asked what her name was, and the girl told him her fake name, this is how she should act according to the plan. At some point, the man began to behave very uncivilized, he came close to Ning Xiang and praised her beautiful perfume. And after that he put his hand on her hips, the lone wolf was apparently accustomed to doing this. At that moment, the policewoman got scared and pushed the man aside, even though she needed to complete the task, but this was too much. Lone wolf didn't understand this behavior, what it even meant, did she really not want him to touch her? Ning Xiang had to make excuses and say that she was simply misunderstood and she felt ticklish, first of all, she needed to get used to the role. Therefore, the beauty sat down at the table and ordered herself a drink, and she also took out a special device and pressed the red button. Lin Zichien asked his comrade if he knew this bandit, as it turned out they had been in contact very often before. After that, the guy secretly told the man about a plan. To do this, he needs to start a conversation with the lone wolf. It turned out that the bald man used to have the nickname Poisonous Scorpion, 
the bandit immediately recognized him and greeted him. Old friend sat down at the table together and ordered a bottle of wine, the poisonous scorpion said that his boss wanted to meet a girl. Will the lone wolf be able to do him a favor and leave the beauty alone, they promise not to be in debt. The bandit did not immediately give a definite answer, first of all, he wanted to know who the boss of his old acquaintance was. The poisonous scorpion noticed that they hardly ever crossed paths before, so it doesn't really matter. Ning Xiang began to worry a little, she didn't understand why this man sat down at their table, this could ruin the whole plan. Suddenly, the lone wolf put his hand on her shoulder and pulled her closer, he wondered what his friend's boss would do if he didn't give in to this beauty. Suddenly, a very powerful golden-colored energy began to emerge from the poisonous scorpion's hand, he was able to make very good progress in his training. Even the bandit was able to appreciate his progress, his old acquaintance did not have even half this power when they last met. The man loudly hit the table with his palm and asked the lone wolf again if he agreed to the deal with his boss. In the end, the bandit decides not to risk it and pushes the girl away, she should go to someone else and take good care of him. Ning Xiang was very disappointed, this was a great opportunity to catch a dangerous criminal, and now the whole plan has collapsed. One of the lone wolf's assistants asked the boss why he let this girl go, as it turned out the villain knew everything from the very beginning. He wanted to kill the policewoman at the right moment, but in such a situation it was better to retreat so as not to get into unnecessary problems. Meanwhile, the poisonous scorpion brought the girl to the hero, Ning Xiang did not recognize him yet and was preparing for a fight. Since her whole plan failed, she will have to improvise, she needs to get out of this restaurant as soon as possible. The girl immediately rushed to the attack and tried to knock out the stranger with her foot, at that moment her short dress jumped up. The hero managed to easily stop this attack, he grabbed the beauty by the leg and asked her to calm down, at this rate she would never find a husband. Ning Xiang couldn't believe her eyes, she expected to see anyone here, but not her relative, what was he doing here? At the same time, the situation turned out to be very awkward, the short dress now did not cover anything at all, because of this the beauty was very embarrassed. And she immediately covered up all her charms, the guy could have at least looked away for the sake of decency, but for some reason he didn't. At some point, the police realized that the poisonous scorpion had arranged all this on purpose, and had they deliberately thwarted her mission? Lin Qian immediately took her hand and tried to calm her down, in fact, she was in mortal danger and could die. After this, the hero told Lone Wolf about the plan, the bandit knew very well that the girl was working undercover. Suddenly, the same villain burst into their room, he behaved very impudently and kicked the door, he was also accompanied by their old acquaintance. A bodyguard named by instantly recognized the hero, once again fate brought them together, apparently they will have to fight again. The lone wolf was surprised and asked his subordinate if they had really met this man before. Bai did not answer anything and ordered everyone to stand in their places, first of all he needs to call his boss and tell everything. However, the hero was not going to just stand still, he immediately approached his enemy from behind and prepared to attack. Thanks to his incredible speed, he managed to knock out Bai with just a blow, the bodyguard's face hitting the hard floor with all his might. Ning Xiang stood nearby and simply watched what was happening, since their last meeting, the hero had become several times stronger. Lin Qian asked his old friend why he gets into fights with him over and over again, since he doesn't have a chance to win. But in reality this did not matter, because very soon their entire criminal group would be destroyed. Bai ordered the hero not to talk nonsense, everyone who dares to go against his boss is doomed to defeat, the hero does not even understand who he is dealing with. The guy advises his opponent not to worry about this, soon he will have the opportunity to see everything with his own eyes. Lone Wolf at this moment decided to take advantage of the opportunity and took out a huge knife, he wanted to finish off Lin Qian with one blow. However, the poisonous scorpion did not allow him to do this, he grabbed his former comrade by the hand and ordered him to stop. The hero could not believe that such an experienced criminal as a lone wolf behaved so naively, his movements were incredibly predictable. The man asked his boss what he should do with this villain, they can take him to the police station right now. First of all, the guy completely knocked out the guard, and he gave the lone wolf at the complete disposal of the police. Ning Xiang was so impressed by her relative's skill that she simply stood still and didn't say anything for a few more seconds. But after that she quickly came to her senses and handcuffed the lone wolf, 
today the guy helped her a lot. After that, Lin Zichian and the poisonous scorpion were about to leave, but the police asked them to stop and wait for a while. Ning Xiang told the hero that her sister was very worried about his leaving, if he had the opportunity, he should visit Ring Su. However, the guy is sure that such an influential family does not need him, so he has no reason to return. The girl once again tried to convince her relative, they were still officially husband and wife, they needed to at least discuss everything. In addition, Ning Xiang herself does not want the guy to leave their house, in fact, he is a very good and sympathetic person. Soon, Lin Zichian and his assistant returned to the apartment, the man praised his boss for his excellent taste, but the guy himself thought it was nothing. Zha Lei had been sitting here all this time playing with her beetles, her friend again brought some suspicious person into the house. Lin Zichian asked his friend to behave a little more civilized, in fact, this is their faithful ally with the nickname Poisonous Scorpion. He also has a gift for the girl, she obviously knows this person, Zha Lei couldn't believe that this guard was actually caught. He is Yang Sen's personal bodyguard and probably knows a lot of important information, he should be interrogated carefully. The hero also asks his assistant to find out as much information as possible about the mercenary group, soon they will have to fight with them. After that, the guy silently leaves somewhere without saying a word, the girl tried to find out from him where he was in such a hurry. Lin Zichian didn't want to go into details, but simply said that he needed to take care of some personal matters. Meanwhile, in the underground prison, strong cultivators began their investigation, they stood near the cell from which the hero escaped. The man very quickly determined that these gratings were cut using a special artifact of an incredibly high level. Kairi couldn't understand how this was possible, because this alloy was developed specifically for prison cells, is there anything capable of cutting it? Lu Yun believed that the body of their enemy was itself a dangerous weapon, because the man had personally taken all the guy's personal belongings. In fact, it didn't really matter, because the poison that the girl injected into Lin Zichian's body could be activated at any time. However, her accomplice advised Kairi not to be so optimistic, their boyfriend could well have created an antidote. The girl, in turn, assured that not a single person in the world could be cured of her special ability, anyway, first you need to find a hero. Meanwhile, in the Su family's mansion, the two sisters were talking among themselves, Ning Xiang couldn't believe that Ring Su didn't even try to find her husband. As it turned out, the girl still behaved very proudly and pretended that she didn't care whether the guy returned to their house or not. Ning Xiang was probably the only person who understood the hero's feelings, because the family themselves forced him to leave. Suddenly, Lin Zichian walked next to them, but he didn't seem to notice anyone around. His wife immediately showed her sincere emotions and was very happy, for a second she had hoped that her husband had returned back. But quite quickly the smile disappeared somewhere, the girl again pretended that she had no feelings left for the guy. She turned to the side and asked him in an arrogant voice why he suddenly decided to return to their family home. The hero answered in a calm voice that he just wants to take all his things, after which he will leave here forever. Ring Su actually expected a completely different answer, but her husband was determined, after all, no one appreciates him here. That is why the hero is going to file for divorce tomorrow, their marriage no longer made any sense. Ning Xiang asked her relative to calm down a little, there is no need to make such hasty conclusions, everything should be discussed first. The girl also turned to her sister and hinted to her that they should talk in a calm atmosphere. But Ring Su, in turn, was not going to back down, if her husband really wants to get a divorce, then she is not against it. In fact, Lin Zichian was ready to return to his wife if she showed even a little care, but unfortunately this did not happen. Soon the head of the family returned home, he was accompanied by several guards, the man immediately got angry when he saw his son-in-law. The old man could not believe that this impudent man actually dared to return here after refusing to help him. Mr. Su sharply grabbed a stick standing nearby and swung at the hero, Ning Xiang tried to stop her father. However, this was not necessary the guy was easily able to destroy the stupid old man's improvised weapon with one deft movement. After that, Ling Zichian grabbed the man by the clothes, before he was only restrained by his marriage to Ring Su, but now he could do whatever he wanted. The girl even this time sided with her father and reproached her ex-husband for cruelty, why he always behaves like this. The guy sighed heavily, all these years he really wanted the girl to take his side at least once. Apparently this is not destined to come true, the hero lets Mr. Su go, 
now he wanted to leave this ill-fated mansion as soon as possible. The old man was indignant and ordered his guards to throw the scoundrel away, this was already going beyond all limits. Lin Qian quickly dealt with several bodyguards, with his current level of strength it was very easy. When the fight ended, the hero instantly moved behind his wife and said that he would be waiting for her tomorrow at the registry office. And he recommended to the stupid old man to calm down and never meddle in his affairs again, otherwise he would greatly regret it. Mr. Su was scared to death, drops of sweat appeared on his face, apparently he had finally lost to his son-in-law. The man asked the hero what he was going to do now, after all, things were going very badly for them, and now this scoundrel was ruining everything. In fact, Lin Qian did not want to stay in this house for a minute, he silently turned around and headed towards the exit. Ning Xiang did not stop him, she was completely disappointed in her relatives, don't they understand that they themselves are to blame for everything? After this, the girl silently goes to her room, her sister lost a very good person because of her pride. When the guy left, he felt that he had finally found freedom, now he could calmly begin to build a new life. However, before that, he needs to deal with the remaining enemies, one of them was nearby right now and was carefully watching him. As it turned out it was Kushur, the woman praised the hero for his incredible powers of observation, now it's clear how he managed to escape from prison. Lin Qian asked her if she really came here without reinforcements, isn't the woman afraid of one-on-one -on -one combat? Kushur actually didn't even intend to fight, in her opinion the guy has a very hot temper, it's not necessary to solve everything with fists. The woman had a hidden advantage, so she advised the hero not to do stupid things, it could end badly. Kushur showed Lin Qian the photo, when he saw it, he was very angry, how dare they act so vilely. The woman said that the guy must come to the specified place at 8 in the evening, otherwise he will never see his girlfriend again. It turned out that the photo was of Mrs. Lin, the girl had her hands and feet tied and her mouth taped shut, and these scoundrels took her hostage. The hero returned home as quickly as he could, now he was so angry that more than anything he wanted to tear his enemies to pieces. Zha Lei was even a little scared because of this appearance, why was her friend acting so strange, he should explain everything to him first. But there was no time for that now, the guy simply gave the girl a special pill and told her to swallow it, it would make her stronger. They cannot waste a minute, in a few hours they need to arrive at the indicated place and save a very important person. Zha Lei, to be honest, didn't really want to eat this pill, she had doubts about its effectiveness. Lin Qian asked the girl to trust him, he is now in a very difficult situation and needs help. In the end, Zha Lei agrees, but if she dies because of this pill, then all the blame will fall on the hero. In fact, the girl was worried in vain, this pill turned out to be very effective and filled her body with a very powerful aura. The guy also called the poisonous scorpion and asked him to come as soon as possible, they need to discuss a plan of action. The place where everything was supposed to take place was the secret headquarters of the mercenary organization, Yang Sen believed that the hero would not risk coming. But his colleague was sure that Lin Qian would definitely come to Mrs. Lin's aid, after all, he considers her his friend. At some point, cultivators come into their room, all this time they were trying to get at least some information out of the girl. However, Mrs. Lin did not tell them anything, so the mercenaries decided to wait for their main enemy to appear. Kushur promised that Lin Qian would arrive here very soon, a person like him couldn't just get scared and run away. The man ordered the soldiers to finish off the hero as quickly as possible, this time they should not have any problems with it. After this, Yang Sen decides to check on the hostage, he considered the girl his prey, with whom he can do whatever he wants. Kyrie and her accomplice discuss their enemy's special weapon, and they also need to find out how he managed to cope with the poison. Mrs. Lin had already been sitting in the cold cell for a very long time, but despite this, the girl did not tell these scoundrels anything. At some point, Yang Sen came to her and asked how his guest was feeling, if she would like to drink a small glass of wine. Probably the beauty didn't expect to meet him here, and where is her bodyguard now, probably this brat was just scared. At some point, a man finally crosses all boundaries, apparently he really treats women as objects. Mrs. Lin tried to resist, but in her situation it was very difficult, couldn't anyone help her? When the girl had completely lost hope, some unusual beetle suddenly flew into her cell, the insect made strange sounds. Suddenly there was a very strong explosion, 
causing the incredibly thick wall to shatter into small pieces. Yang Sun could not understand what happened. This room was fortified in every possible way, who managed to pull this off? When the smoke from the explosion cleared, it became clear that this happened thanks to Zha Lei, the girl blew up the wall using her special technique. The heroes were determined, today they will use all their strength to save Mrs. Lin. Finally, the girl had hope of salvation, but the man could not come to his senses and come up with a plan of action. Therefore, Lin Zichien immediately rushed towards him to finish off the scoundrel as quickly as possible. The hero had already concentrated a lot of his spiritual energy into his fist and was preparing to use a splitting blow. Yang Sen at that moment realized that he had no chance of salvation, he could only throw around empty threats. The rest of the villains, meanwhile, calmly continued to have dinner, but at some point a loud sound was heard from the basement. Kyrie heard him immediately and told the others that they had better go downstairs and deal with everything as soon as possible. Lu Yun felt that he was quite capable of handling it alone, it was better for women to stay at the table. Due to the mist blow, the man's face was very badly damaged, he fell to the cold floor and lay in a pool of his own blood. The hero immediately rushed to Mrs. Lin's aid and removed the ropes from her, Finally the girl was saved. Lin Zichien apologized to his boss, he needed to do a better job as a bodyguard. But Mrs. Lin told him not to say such nonsense, because only thanks to him can she now get out of here. The girl believed that she was to blame for this whole situation, in the end, the hero quarreled with Yang Sen only because of her. Zha Lei asked them to be more careful, very strong cultivators will come here very soon, they need to give their best. Lin Zichien once again asked Mrs. Lin for forgiveness, now he needs to deal with the remaining scoundrels. The hero told the poisonous scorpion to guard the girl, so he could better concentrate on fighting strong opponents. Within a few minutes, the mercenaries went down to the basement, for now they did not understand the seriousness of the situation. In fact, Kyrie didn't believe until recently that the guy would really dare to come here, in her opinion this was a stupid act. Lu Yun told his accomplice that this man killed their boss, now they are obliged to avenge him at any cost. The girl only now realized that Yang Sun was already dead, could a hero really be capable of such an act? Kairi immediately rushed forward and tried to use her deadliest poison, if she succeeded, then Lin Zichien was guaranteed to die. Just like the first time, she caught the hero's hand with her heel, which is how she then managed to poison the guy. It seemed to the girl that Lin Zichien did not know how to learn from his own mistakes, now his life was doomed. But the hero was not going to die today, Kairi needs to look down more carefully right now. It turned out that the guy was somehow able to reflect the effect of the poison and redirect it to the owner of the ability. The girl could not believe it, she had never seen anything like this before, how this scoundrel managed it. Lin Zichien thought it was funny, it was strange to hear such a question from a poison expert, his opponent should have studied better. After a few seconds, almost the girl's entire body turned into stone, the effect of this poison cannot be cured in any way. One mercenary was finished, now all that remained was to deal with the man, after which they could finally leave here. Kusher noticed that their organization was losing, now she urgently needed to call the rest of the mercenaries and call them here. But as soon as the woman reached into her pocket for her phone, she realized that it was not there, had someone stolen it. As it turned out, Zha Lei assumed in advance that Kushur would want to call other members of the underground organization for help. So the girl waited for the right moment and pulled the phone out of the woman's pocket, no one else would help them. Kushur could not understand when this happened, now all hopes remained only for Lu Yun. To the woman's great regret, the last mercenary lost in just a few seconds, he could not do anything to oppose the hero. Kushur couldn't believe her eyes. Did they really lose to this guy, how could this happen? Lin Zichien lets the woman go, but from now on he is in charge in this city, if they want to continue doing their business, then they should find another place. After this, the heroes leave, from now on not a single bandit will dare to harm the guy and his loved ones, in the end he managed to protect everyone. Kushur was lucky to get her mobile phone back, she was so scared that she just wanted to quit this case and start a normal life. Three months later, a very loud celebration took place in the city, a huge castle was even specially built for this event. All the people passing by paid attention to this, as it turned out, 
one young entrepreneur arranged a luxurious wedding. Lin Zichian managed to become the richest young man in their hometown in just a few months. There were also rumors in the crowd that the hero had previously been married to a beauty from the Xi family, they probably really regretted that he was rejected. Ring Su was also here, only now the girl realized how much she was mistaken about her husband, unfortunately it was too late to change anything. There were many guests present at the wedding, right now they were looking forward to the appearance of the newlyweds, they were about to appear. Soon a luxurious black limousine drove up to them. Lin Qian was the first to get out of the car, he was dressed in a luxurious white suit, and the guy was holding a beautiful bouquet of red roses in his hands. The groom politely opened the limousine door and apologized to the girl for the wait, today was the best day of her life. The hero took Mrs. Lin's hand and helped her get out of the car, the girl was very happy, she was waiting for this moment for a very long time now. Heroes that day had a gorgeous wedding, and after that lived a long and happy life, reminding each other every day about your feelings.